Hello, I'm MC Toon, and it's Toonsday night, and I've got a second debate with Demok. Demok? Dimmak? Not sure. He goes, he spells it differently in different places. I've got with me the guy, the guy that does what? That sprinkles things. Yes. yes. I won't sprinkles say, things. I won't say any more than that. Um, <laughs> we just call him Sprinkles. Hello, Sprinkles. Hey, some people know me as Quitty's the Sprinkler. Quitty's the Sprinkler, yes. All sorts of... Used to be don't... What is it? Don't... Team Skeptic, don't let... Oh, whatever. Don't tell me to well, change my name. Well, it was name. originally... Uh, uh, YouTube kept asking me to change my name every time I logged in. Oh. So I got mad, and I typed, quit effing asking trying to get me to change my name. And I then see. that changed to... Quit asking me to change my name, Team Skeptic, and then quit asking me to sprinkle thems. Yep. And then YouTube finally just got mad at all the stupid names I had and shadow banned me from chat. Oh. So then I had to, you know, go with something fairly normal. Quitty's the sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, here's uh Dimok Dimak. He he Dimok. They usually call him Dimok, I think. He he wanted this to be at eleven. And then to, earlier today, he's like, I work until 11, so I can't start it until later. And then the the person at the, the server, it's a Discord server called The Asylum, very appropriately named, uh, said, it's going to start at 11.30, 11.30 Central Time. So Quiddies is here. <clears throat> Why did I say Sprinkles? We don't call you Sprinkles. I know that. Call you quitties. Um, People call me sprinkles. People sprinkles, call me quitties. Whatever. Sprinkles is is like I mean, sprinkles is like a cartoon dog name, right? A really cute one that yips it all the time. Anyway, um, well, maybe I've got, I am a cute cartoon dog. You might be. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen you. So here is um, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna drive you crazy, people. He Dim Dimok has been sending me. Love grams <laughs> in DM for days now, and we are going to read them. I will play the part of me, and Quiddies will play the part of Demok. So here we have the conversation starting with uh, back on the 21st. So <clears throat> to give some um, some color. To the, to the conversation, he said when I was on the Asylum server that he had been messaging me constantly. I said, you can see, you said you sent me many messages, but I don't see any. He hadn't sent me any on, on Discord. Um, and the context of the envelope is about the 10K challenge. So here we here we go with the, the conversation. You said you sent me many messages, but I don't see any. Their comments actually on your shows. Wait is one, and watch answered. Do you have in an envelope for me to match to get paid? You do have it done in an envelope, right? Oh, sorry. There are many comments I cannot keep up. I have no idea what you're talking about. I only speak Murican. What envelope? Yes, your challenge. Gokfi, you have the answer in an envelope, right? If I match it, I win, right? So who the answer ready? I need to make sure your answer is in the envelope so we can match it to win the money or else how do we know the right answer? We need to compare our answer to yours only way to win is to match your answer you have on paper hid waiting for the match that wins m ready to do the challenge so you do have your answer right don't welch out now i sent him the link to the the write-up of the the ten thousand dollar flat earth gravity challenge thinking that maybe he would read it. <laughs> yes, 
you need to provide the answer you're looking for for me to match or how can I be sure it's even a fair test with an actual answer retard so simply put your answer in the envelope or your retard gimp game challenge is mute if there's no answer for your retard unicorn leprechaun test dump what's your point retard <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you read the challenge. In order for the challenge to happen, you will need to select five different IGSN 71 locations. If you don't read the challenge, you could not possibly have a chance. I don't think you have a brain. A challenge has to have an answer that matches. Then you get paid. If your or your retard buddies can't do your retard unicorn challenge, then who the can Narnia Dr. Seuss McCartoon? Apparently, you didn't read what V said, retard. You need me to spell it out in person, Goofy. It would help if you were literate. It would help if you were sign, Dr. Swiss Seuss. McToon, what a Warner Bros. name, lol, Walt Disney Toon, NASA cartoon fan. Globe Witches, lol, triangles on a sheer, lol. <laughs> Did you want to confirm that you'll debate me Tuesday, March 1st, 8 p.m. Central Time? <clears throat> Wed him at work tis. I debate physical demonstrable spheres or anything that can be demonstrated about a globe on earth the ground only debate there's no physics to prove a ball nothing else only reality of what about the globe can we physically use to demonstrate or all or any globe claim has Oh, demonstrations. Only excuses. Hope you're ready. Wait, a fart or lightning bolt only with a scale live first challenge. No containers, only their weight. <laughs> Lol. Am ready, are you? I can't wait for you to demonstrate all the glow physics or claims. So after your demonstrations, we can debate what you prove or demonstrate about spherical physics and gravity show with different amounts of water reacting at different heights, making cooler curves as we lit the straight. I couldn't do it. I couldn't make it to the period there. <laughs> <laughs> Horizontal flat. Water and it bows live with gravity. UK ow down or deep down down lol. I can't wait for all the cool demos on live gravity reacting to material. Yes, you're gonna make history and be a famous curvert. Remember only touchable physical stuff for my debate. No unicorns, okay. I don't be debate beliefs, only your globe provable facts. Waiting for your reply. And Wed's day's debate don't welch out on show and tell time. Lol, no glober lol. You're the best flat earth evidence lol, sad. Your response is unintelligible. This is a yes, no question. Will you debate Tuesday, March 1 at 8 p.m. Central Time? I usually work at that time and day, so WED 2 would be better. Or at 11 p.m. Tuesday, 11 p.m. Central is good for me. Uh, you are a comedy genius. So is my non-existent, non-demonstrable globe. <laughs> Tuesday at 11 p.m. Central time. But you're going to demonstrate orbit, fart, weight, tilt, curve, globe, live water physics. I'm so excited to finally shut up all the retard earthers with beliefs they can't demonstrate. I'm glad you're so smart. You don't need to talk. Just demonstrate all the things a globe can do live. All are ready. All the Santa Claus global believers don't need to believe you're finally bringing some real water, dirt, and gravity gas globes. You're my number one globe if you can do you're my number one globe if you can do any of it. 
<laughs> you won't tell me how to do science. I am not any flat. Anything, don't get it twisted. I'm a reality person. I'm for anything touchable, repeatable, testable on earth in lab or class live. I'm in it for the facts of reality. No stories or retard books. Get your evidence ready. I haven't seen any science. Hell yeah. The whole point of the demonstration of you is to show and tell all your Santa Claus science with real dirt, water, and stuff you know, Mr. Globe Wizard. I can't wait. I have nothing but groups of kids and people who want to see all your <laughs> cool globe demos and explain after you show them, you tell no, show them. I only have an impossible globe and globe physics can't be shown. I can't demonstrate any orbit with little balls or water or dirt. We've tried. Whew. I will reference <laughs> how science is done with citations. You should prepare yourself for that. But you must know some magic i don't let's prove this fucking globe to all retards once and for all hell yes i can't wait and post this on your page so i'll know what i'm about don't skip out on show tell globe day yes uh <laughs> prepare your evidence oh <sighs> No stories, retard, only demonstration, WTF. Are you saying you have no evidence of physical globes in orbit? Lol, lol, are we going to do lol show air tell Santa globe situations for Santa Claus? Are cool, but no thanks, retard. Only real physical, touchable shit. That's it. I can't wait for your tons of evidence. Tons of globe evidence, but no books allowed. Only water, dirt, spheres, no Santa globe, dog shit, made up, retard shit. All little kids who can't read need no read need proof. Some people don't read. They need visuals. I'm so happy you are magic and can do orbits in class. You are cool, Mr. Globe Art Wizard. You're going to show once and for all. Shut fee up by your awesome santa globe physics and then we can repeat it isn't there gonna be too much globe demonstration what are you gonna demonstrate give me your demo list so i can get you viewers and tell them what you're showing us dirt water in a ball or orbit or little planes around a beach ball what are you gonna shut the flurfers up with santa globe wizard i can't wait to see what a globe actually looks like you're gonna produce one yes <laughs> I have no model or science dipshit. I'm a non-globe globe without ever seeing or touching a globe of real dirt and water simple, huh? So stop asking me to tell you guys about beliefs I don't believe, retard. So get that strat. If I can't touch it, see it, feel it, then my globe isn't real. And all science that claims such should be burnt. The books and show burn your retard situations. Fed it to the dog retards. You and all your worthless toilet paper. I don't do toilet paper. Be, be certain that all these de be certain that all these demands can first be provided by yourself using the same standard of evidence. I will simply use scientific evidence with citations to how science is done, since I'm not claiming to be the authority on science. No, I've tried to make little globes or have little toy planes go around little balls. It's hard to do since I was five. I've tried to produce any form of real touchable globe physics. No curve in my yard. No curve in a mountain tip. No curve with non-moving water. No curve in the Grand Canyon. No curve ever experienced. I, these aren't. To my demands so much as you helping me demonstrate what I can't know words or books needed. We aren't doing braille, okay? So we all can see. So help you help me show all little globe working physics live. I'm excited, globe MC Tune Wizard. <laughs> I'll bring some subs and you show all us globers your evidence. We can talk retard braille books for blind neck show. We can read globers 
Dickens classics. Lol, Santa, Godzilla, Globe Story books are cool, but don't matter at all. <laughs> oh, awesome. Bring your subs. This will be great. You are proving all you didn't, physics. You didn't know what you were getting into, did you, Quiz? <laughs> If, if I had known it was going to be like this, I wouldn't have tried to do a voice. Uh, well, you're, you're committed to it. You can't back out now. I know. <laughs> you are proving all Globes physics here on Earth in a classroom or lab or your home, your choice or outside, whatever you need, touchable, feel able, demonstrate able here on the ground, all direct, no calculations. We don't. Calibre live or formula <laughs> believe law same calculations or cartoons or formulas of mictoons or math of mictoons all worthless without direct material measurements or dirt water in <laughs> orbit on your cam live <laughs> be sure to tape your mouth shut and start the curve water curved dirt water demo <laughs> and show what you saw and can repeat about the globe to scale exact as possible i'll help you if you need like three little balls for little eclipse live you show both solar lunar exact three little balls to scale size distance on little scale doable live i'm ready for the show proof tune mick <laughs> No blind demos for blind we can all see, so no braille, okay? No useless numbers or words. I have nothing but non-globe proof. I can't wait for your help to shut all the retards up. It, don't, don't, don't go into it again. Um, all your subs will be excited to show your Flat Earth proofs. So, let's, we can pause it there. <clears throat> um... <laughs> That is. I need a drink of water. That now. is. Uh, sorry, tune shine. I think that's that's a. Is that a good enough taste, people? He just goes on. He, yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't have a clue how anything works. He just wants to make these demands because uh, he has in his in his tiny little brain how he thinks science works. It's not. So he has all these demands. It's just. It's. It doesn't matter though because. He can't provide the same evidence um, for his position. And so he will claim he doesn't have a position. He will probably claim that Flat Earth is the default position. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, let me, <laughs> yes, <laughs> let me read a few, uh, a few things here. We've got a few super chats to go through. So we've got uh, just over 10 minutes until uh, I'll be popping over into their server. Um, and I will, uh, I'll read now. Quiddy, Quiddy's is still here. So if you, if you want a yeah, little more I taste, well, so you didn't have to hear me gulping down tune shine. He's got it. Yeah. He's got to like <laughs> fix it from, all right. Uh, K punchy says for two monopoly, a uh, Canadian dollars says Joe dirt does a great Quiddy's impersonation. Uh, Luke Filewalker for two euros says punctuation does not even once. And, Luke Filewalker included no punctuation. A listen for two Australians is DMOC equals how the world sees flatties. Yes, flatties. This is your king. This is your king. Bow down to the flat earth king, DMOC. You're about to see how amazing he is. Tommy Gronvold for 22 Nokias says here, <laughs> comma, full stop, Comma, full stop, comma, full stop, comma. All right, that's enough. Uh, you need some colons, maybe some quotes. Uh, all right, base here, or is it bass here? Don't know from, from the context. For $5, this is a classic voiceover. Thanks. There you go. Quiddies, a big thanks from bass here. We got Gregario Ganon 5 or V says for 500 yen. Thank you guys for this. I haven't had a good laugh like this in a long, long time. It is worth a super chat. Well, thank you very much, Greg. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, Gr Gregorio was on a couple of weeks ago on uh, with Kyle Adams. It just explained to him how peer review works, and Kyle just didn't get it. We got many Karen for 15 shekels. Says this magic Satan Santa globe money shill you make for flat for Earth demonstrated globe is curved strat. No. You you totally changed. Yeah, I should have read that one. You should have. <laughs> well, go ahead. Go ahead. This magic Satan Santa globe money shill you make for Earth demonstrated globe is curved strat. No. <laughs> and we've got Mallory for two two dollars fifty. Oh yeah, Canadian. I have to read Mallory. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm bowing down to the new king. All hail Denmark! <laughs> uh, Punchy said sent to twenty dollars to Quiddies for losing his voice. Um, well, thanks for that. All right, I just got a message from the um, <clears throat> Apocryphon, who's from their server, who said uh, they're just about ready. But I've got a couple others that were member super chats. We've got. <clears throat> Mark Beiser for, uh, has been a member for 21 months. Says, would someone please pass the punctuation shaker? Tommy Gronvald did. Thank you for that, Tommy. Very thoughtful. And then Stringer News One has been a member for 21 months. Amazing. Says, taste of fire hose. Yeah, we got that. So, all right, quitties. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm clearing my throat. You probably are just hacking up a lung right now. Um, <laughs> That's why I'm muted like 90% yeah. of the time now. So I'm going to head over there in uh, a minute. We've got another one from Luke Filewalker for five euros. Says, and suddenly an announcer says, next stop, the mental asylum. Oh, wait. He can, in fact, he, he can only get there by 1130 because that's when the McDonald's closes. So, all right, I will, um, <clears throat> I will do my best to, uh, try if, if anybody <laughs> sends a super jet during, I will try to roll it in somehow. I cannot promise, but afterwards I will definitely, um, uh, when it's done, I'll stick around. Uh Oh, quitties. <laughs> oh, you got no. one from Eon <laughs> dust says can you get him to say slip into a slim gym <laughs> i thought it was snap into a slim I, gym. I thought it was we'll, we'll do it do it that way too <laughs> snap into a slim gym there you go you get just that little bit of a constipation sound in there that's what you need oh yeah i totally tighten my butt cheeks on that one you know you know who who sings with the constipated voice jm truth no 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 big big name uh i don't know who axel rose oh yeah next time you hear yeah. sweet child of mine you tell me it doesn't sound like he's pinching <laughs> well it sounds like he got kicked in the front and he's constipated in the back <laughs> um, many karen wants you to sing man of war that's funny <laughs> all right <clears throat> uh let's see um mm -mm. so okay i'm going to thank you quitties for coming in and doing that uh that amazing dramatic reading <laughs> thanks for having me and thanks everyone thanks for the support in the chat that was awesome <laughs> and now i'm going to head over to the server this is uh it is a hive of scum and villainy. We must be careful. Quit, quit out of Zoom here. And click into the asylum. Which is, uh, <clears throat> I have, I have the, um, I have the asylum hardcover Batman graphic novel thing. So, Ooh, sync, sync text chat. I do not have permission to view the history. So, all right, let's show you here. 
what's going on. This is the sync text chat. Oh, you you probably want to say I'm gonna adjust my window here so you can see um see who's talking in the uh the live chat. And uh, I mean you're gonna wanna see the there we go. There it is. So when, whenever I'm in the correct channel, um, I don't know what is the correct channel. <clears throat> Here's the main chat channel. So, and research flat moon. Look at that. That is, you know, who that is that's Bob, the science guy. So, all right, where, where am I supposed to be? Um, hmm. I don't know. What is the correct room? Uh, I hope, <clears throat> hope you enjoy the, the pain and suffering we are all about to endure. Stephen K or Stephen K says for $5 for your information. Some of us are blind. Maybe the flurfs need to slow their roll. Uh, yeah. Slow their roll. So <clears throat> where did Dima go? So apparently last night he was talking about not showing up today. We'll see. I don't know. Oh. I don't see him anywhere in these chats. So here's general VC chat, but nobody's in these rooms. This uh, sink whole VC used to have DMOC in it. I don't know where he is. Oh, that's it's all. They're all going away. Don't know. Don't know. No answer here. <laughs> where did DMOC go? He was in just in VC now ran. I don't think he'll run. There we go. We've got general VC. All right. I'll jump in here. <clears throat> general VC chat. Uh, looking, looking forward to this. This is going to be a trip. So I'm going to pop in, pop in there now, but leave myself muted. All right, Tune, we got to move up to the top. You couldn't see the room? Okay. No, I could not see the room. What's the name? Uh, you couldn't see it, but I'm just going to move everybody up there. Uh, it's where everybody is already automatically muted, so nobody inter interrupts the oh, debate. Oh, very nice. So here we go, guys. I couldn't see the room, so... You couldn't see the room. I'm suppressed okay. no, I still, but see. I think they'll understand. Yeah, he, tell him to scroll up. Uh, you couldn't see it, but I'm just going to move everybody up there. Uh, it's where everybody's already automatically muted, so nobody inter interrupts. The oh, debate. very nice. So they, they put they oh, put everybody right. in the room. Yeah, I just they just can't somebody talk. Accidentally. All right, you're off uh, suppressed. All right, if you're not in it, then uh, politely go and use. Is DMOC unmuted? Okay, DMOC's unmuted. Welcome, guys, to the asylum. We're going to have a debate here today with Mick Toon and DMOC. We're going to have Bob, the science guy, as a moderator and myself for DMOC. Uh, floor is yours, Mick Toon. Floor is mine. Well, thank you, everybody, for uh, for this. DMOC, uh, a bit over a week ago, challenged me to debate, and I'm happy to accept so, uh, I, I guess I could just jump right into it, right? So one thing that flat earthers often claim is that the sun is local. And in fact, if the sun is, or if the earth is flat, that makes a ton of sense. Uh, it tends to probably need to be the case. So if I'm going to send something, which, uh, which chat should I send it in? General VC text? All right, hang so on. I think we're having some, some difficulties. Uh, they're not able oh. to hear you. Bob left the room as well. Hmm. 
Emox in a different channel. This is well. I I suppose we. <laughs> Can I, you hear me, Bob? You, Is it working? You, you figured out. <clears throat> you have to take when you join the room. You're automatically suppressed. You have to manually unsuppress them. And I don't know if anybody who doesn't have. Well, Demok is saying he isn't able to hear. Mm. There's no sound. Yeah, I'm here now. Okay, we're great, great, great. I'm moving Demok up. All right, Demok, I'm gonna unmute you. There you go. Are right, you mic check one two? Testing, testing. Demok having having technical difficulties for the. He's day. on his phone, like I think he is. <clears throat> when you move him, it disconnects him. If it's Android, right? He's on his phone. Yep, you're right. <laughs> well, we're probably gonna have to move this down to general. Oh, or he can gosh. just reconnect by himself. Can't he see this room? Uh, no, I don't think he's able to see this room. <laughs> if Toon awesome. was not able to see it, he wasn't able. Uh, I've seen it on his feed. It's not there for some odd reason. It isn't. Just move to the fucking uh, the general room. This is no, here we go, guys. <laughs> I would like to order a Mac Toon with cheese. <laughs> you mog, you're good. It's the room's retarded, so <laughs> got that fixed. Yeah, if it locks me out, I won't be able to hear. Now we're here. All right, I can hear you guys now. Yep, we hear you. All right, the floor is yours. Tune, take it away. Okay, where, where if I'm, if I'm gonna send something, where should I send it? The general VC chat is that good? Yes, correct. All right, so I, I, I don't know if Demok heard it. I'll, I'll repeat what I, uh, I said. Um, uh, if the Earth is flat, then, uh, or that at least most, most flat Earthers, um, all maybe I don't know say that the sun is local uh, certainly if, if the earth is flat with the sun moving around above it it, it has to be kind of local so would not it be very nice to measure the distance to the sun of course if the earth were flat you could do that pretty easily with some basic trigonometry things that that you could cover in middle school about uh, i teach i teach math since we homeschool our kids have for many years I'm the math teacher. I know when we teach solving a triangle. That's about eighth grade. So um, I've done the measurements, assuming the earth is flat to get the elevation of the sun. It never matches. On the other hand, people have measured the distance to, to the, uh, the sun using radar. So there I posted a link to it. And I will grab the image here of the actual array. There is the array that they used to um bounce radar off the sun a very cool uh very cool ex uh measurement that they did it was in 19 this one is in 1966 it's called radar studies of the sun at 38 uh mc over s it's it's the uh the frequency they're using so about a thousand times they sent um signals to the sun Starting in 1961, and the paper presents some of the results. So over about five years, they bounced uh, radar off the sun at different times. Uh, they did a, a sent a coded signal so that uh, it wasn't just a random, it wasn't just a sine wave. There was a particular waveform to it, which is detailed in the paper. So that when it comes back, they can identify whether or not it has the same pattern. If it doesn't have the same pattern, then it wasn't what they sent. The uh, radar that they used is 500 kilowatts, extremely strong. The, the thing is that it took just under a thousand seconds for the signal to come back. That's about 16 minutes if we take um, a different experiment, they mentioned that it was 960 seconds. If we take an average time of 980 seconds, we have 980 plus or minus 20 seconds. When you bounce the uh, radar off the sun, you just take the, the one, one side is all you need to get the distance to the sun. Speed of light is just under 300 million meters per second. The distance to the sun using that is, get ready for this. 
143,900 uh, kilometers on the short end and 149,900 kilometers on the long end using our the uh, plus or minus 20. That's right around 93 million miles. <clears throat> So there we go. The distance to the sun measured. Uh, I would love to hear a response to that and and maybe a uh, measurement of the distance to the sun for flat Earth. Up to you. Go ahead. D. Go ahead, D. Mike. The floor is yours. Okay. Well, I didn't know if Ben wanted to do it. Oh, he's got his stuff muted. Okay. Uh, well, those are cool stories. <clears throat> And it's all fun and games, but uh, do you have any direct measurements that like we can back your claim yeah, with your not. storybook cartoons? No, he's not. Uh, can you explain what a direct measurement is to you? Uh, you and a tape measure in both your hands, like point to point. All right, I got you. Do you have that without a claim, with you know I mean, an actual measurement? See, when you went to school to do math, did they teach you like directly touching stuff and measuring it? Like without calculations, you said the word measurement. You haven't measured shit. You've calculated, which is not measurement at all and can never be right. A, a, a sheer calculation can never be right. Direct measurement can only be right. You don't measure materials and objects with calculations. You measure them with materials and objects. So if you were going to be paid per foot by foot to measure that thing for each foot, only if you get it right, you're going to directly measure it. You're not going to calculate anything, buddy. I doubt that would ever help you do anything. I got some things you can calculate if you want, but I go for direct measurement. So if you got anything direct, we can go by that. Other than that, you got a good story going for you because you have nothing to back it with. Other than your fucking cartoon story, I mean, what do we have? A story? So when you have your direct measurement, we can go by your story and see what your story goes up against the direct measurement, which you don't have, sadly. So, um, a tape measure is not actually a direct measurement. Could you please explain what a direct measurement is? And taking the tape measure from one point to the next point, point A to point B, and then you read it. When you get to the end, you say, hey, this tape measure that touches point B says this. So on a tape measure, you, you take whatever is your, the standard at the factory when they make that tape measure, maybe say it's a, a foot, and they put that one foot yeah, on there. I don't, how, how do they put the line for the second foot doesn't on doesn't matter. Two, I wouldn't trust your calculation that's, over a tape measure any day. Who would? Yeah, Who would that, trust your calculation well, on, I, over I wasn't, a tape measure? I wasn't done. I wasn't done. That's done. actual numbers and markings. I wasn't done. Hey, Mark, I wasn't done. Hey, Mark, let him finish. Hey, Mark, let him finish. Go ahead. Oh, so, I thought he was finished. I thought he was finished when he, he woke up. Go ahead. You can tell that I wasn't finished because I was still talking. I thought you were finished when you didn't have any presentation. Go ahead. Okay. So the first line that you put on the tape measure at one foot is the only one that you could call direct because when you put the line for second foot, you've now done some math. So how do you build a tape measure without doing math? Uh, they're already made at the hardware store. You can go pick one up. Are you retarded? But how did they make it without doing math? What the fuck are you talking about, retard? You get a fucking tape measure from the hardware what? store, you gimp fuck. How and then you go take it and fucking measure it. Like you measure your house, your door, your window. How are you going to measure that? Calculating, dumb fuck? Or are you going to measure it with the measure? Tape measure. How did they Language measure? warning, Demock. How do you measure what? your house? How your did, door frame. How did they make how that tape measure without well? math? How do you measure your room, retard? I don't give a fuck how you make your tape measure. We don't care about what you make. How did the tape measure get made without math? I haven't seen you make a tape measure, you fucking... All right. It seems that Demot can't control his baby mouth. It seems like you're the retard here. Who's, who's, you for who's, that. Who's jumping in? This well, anyway, is a you got a direct this measurement a, or not? This Idiot. is a one-on-one. -on -one. You got a calculation or a direct measurement? All right. What are we how, working with here? But uh, how story? do you make how do you make a how tape measure? How do you make up a story? I'm asking you how you make a tape measure without I'm math. I'm asking you how you made up your story of distance without a direct measurement, son. Yeah, that's that's a different topic. You're demanding direct uh, measurement. No, we need direct measurement. If you're going to talk to me about measurement, you need the direct one. Then we can talk about your fucking willy-nilly cartoon, Doctor Seuss calculation. 
you 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 can't make use a tape ten, measure make to ten, make a direct make measurement. Distances. Your cartoon distances aren't helping, buddy. We need direct measurement. Demo. If you don't know how to direct measurement, what are you doing here? You're I do supposed know to how. Demonstrate your globe. How could you demonstrate a globe without directly measuring it, stupid fuck? <laughs> you, All right. Are no, you, are you Hums, fucking retarded? Huh? No, I had Hums. That's all he has. I mean, stick to yeah. the argument. Is that how you measure your fucking forehead? Just guess him. That's all well, he my has. forehead is big That's as a globe. <laughs> well, all right, do Don, 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 get, get, get him in. I'm get him in line. Where are you right, No further ad homs, uh, D Mark. Stick to the argument. All right. So, a tape measure, you put the first line on the tape measure at one foot. You use math to go to the second foot. That is an indirect measurement. The tape measure is not a direct measuring device. It is an indirect measuring device. It takes math just to build a tape measure. So, D Mock, how can I me measure the distance of anything since I cannot use a tape measure by your standard of evidence? Directly with a tape measure. I just told you. But a tape measure has marks on it, gotten to it using math that you don't allow. Are your ears clogged? I told you, tape measure. But, but you need to repeat that to yourself. You but a, but a, but a, but a. You can't but a build a tape direct measure. Measurement, direct yeah. measurement. Do you know what that is? Do you yeah, comprehend? A, a tape measure is if not a direct measurement. Is, Retard, if you know what direct measurement is, stop asking me stupid fucking questions like a third grader wouldn't. But a Di tape measure is not a direct measurement device because you use math to build the tape measure. No, that's what a cartoon character would say, McToon. All right. I, Don, are you going to stop these uh, the the ad homs or is it just yeah. how it's going to be? Enough of the ad homs, Dmok. Let's just that's stick the to the argument. That's the third time you've said that to him there, Don. Third well, time. he's been muted. Okay. He's been muted. I mean, this, this is pretty quick. Well, enough for the not direct measurement. I've asked for the direct measurement. And we don't have one yet. We, he just keeps talking about his story about a tape measure without directly measuring anything. Can we get your direct measurement? How do you build a tape measure without math? Is that your direct measurement to the sun? I'm, is I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to figure is out your what... answer. Is that your answer? I need your direct measurement. It's a number. It's not talking about whatever you just said it's a direct measurement do you understand stick with us stay with us here buddy how do you build a tape measure without you're math? good at numbers right give us the number how do you just build a tape measure without math you got worthless words still right what's the number math guy i I'm thought waiting. you were a math guy why are you running from your number i'm waiting for you Don't to define number, how a guy. tape measure is made hey. using no math super math teacher where's your number Where's your direct number at? All right. What in math it's, you don't go by? All right. So uh, this seems like circular reasoning going on here. Absolutely is there a way yes. to uh, yeah, absolutely no to, direct uh, measure deviate from this because? Uh, so where 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 do, where do we start oh, the man. where do we start the curve measurement? Where do we start it in your mud puddle outside? <laughs> Congratulations, uh, flat earther. He's your king. Incorrect. <laughs> I said a little something crazy earlier before this whole thing started, and I said there will be certain flat earthers that will be wanting to flock back to the globe after this. Uh, <clears throat> okay, well, if, if I could explain uh, without an interruption here, um, a tape measure cannot be built without math you can't put multiple lines on it uh you use your standard you put you put a line at the first standard you put a line at the second standard that's two that took math to get there so you cannot use by by dmox standard a tape measure because a tape measure is not a direct measuring device in fact there are very very few things that are true direct measurements for everything else in life we need a indirect measurement or a calculated measurement. For example, what is the area of the room that I'm in, the area of the floor I'm in? If it's 10 feet by 10 feet, how is it? I don't know. You have to do math. It's 100 square feet. That's the only way to get square feet, for example. No way to measure directly square feet. So his demand that only direct measurements is used is simply uh, a science denialism attempt. So I don't use science denialism. I don't go for pseudoscience. I do just basic science. And 
and uh, using math in measurements is perfectly acceptable in science. Uh, your cartoon made up idea of your uh, storybook dream isn't helping anybody. Do you have a direct measurement of this globe so we can match it to the 24,901 miles you claim it to be? Do you even have a direct measurement to the center? You keep That's, talking, keep talking direct measurement. Yeah, but, I'm asking but, for the measurement you to your eight mile globe. I've already explained to you, and, and I, it, it's not doing well for you to just keep misunderstanding how direct measurements are done. There's, there's very few things that are actually direct measurements. Length is not directly measurable either because it takes indirection. It takes math to measure length. So you demanding direct measurement, I will simply ignore. So I showed a measurement of the distance to the sun. I gave the the paper that was written on. I showed a picture of the, the radar array that was used. Do you have any specific response to that? You're a fucking retard. You didn't say anything. You're an idiot. All right, this is circular. This is okay. Can we try to have a formal debate here, Demont? Without the ad homs. And you said a bunch of goopy stuff. Demok, we need a formal debate here. Make it yes. clean, precise, straight to the point, straight to the argument. Not ad homs. Do you have something to bring? Yeah, his direct measurement I have to bring. Where's the mm -hmm. number? Does he have a direct measurement of anything? Does the fucking reject cocksucker have a fucking demonstration of anything? Any you know, I don't know if this debate is going to last. I don't know how long it will last. But it's going to get old real fast, and it's going to get pointless. Um, um, it never started. It's already pointless. So, Sin, uh, you, uh, are you willing to step up to the plate? Well, it's up to MC Toon if he wants to. Uh, I don't know if he has the confidence to actually deal with the debate. Of course. Or if he wants to finishing things no, up with Demok, well, that's fine. Do. Demok doesn't already. seem to be able to. to Shut to, up, you worthless fucking dumbass cartoon bitch. You ain't got shit but a fucking cartoon story, and you ain't got uh, no math for nothing because <laughs> you have no direct measurement, you dumbass. Fuck. Okay. Demok, you just are. Just for entertainment purposes. Absolutely. Just for a second. But uh, are you willing to step up? Uh, he said, Demok, I have you on server mute right now. If you continue on this course, you will not speak. Do you wish to continue with the debate? We're kind of, were you not listening, bro? Kind of yeah, like we're kind of polling DMOC. Right we're kind of polling DMOC. This is yeah, uh, going literally. nowhere. I like anything it direct, is, uh, ridiculous. How do you guys bring a claim of a globe or presentation for proof of a globe without any proof, without any demonstration, <laughs> without any physical direct measurement of All where right, the I'm, I'm just, this, No, we're not <laughs> having this here. No. So, DMOC. Uh, DMOC, that's already been addressed. The question to you is, do you have you any measurements no from the flat? This is done, Bob. Uh, he, this yeah. is done. Yeah. This, is, is, done. Is, this done. is a waste of time, a complete waste of time. We're not having that. So, Sin, are you willing to step up? Anybody? I'm if good. Is, I'm good uh, if he does. All for it. Yeah, we can kick it back and forth. I mean, I don't want to humiliate you, but I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, let's so go. with your permission, we can yeah, laugh about you, how you uh, measured this. You want to? So, uh, yeah, respond. Respond to the to that. Well, I didn't. I didn't really hear your whole presentation. Um, oh, all right. Well, I can. I can but, cover it but again if, briefly. Uh, just to, let me ask a clarifying question, just real quick. Okay. Um. What can't you describe with a formula? I'm sorry. I, I, I presented evidence. I will present it again since you didn't hear it. Okay. All right. Yeah, so, sure. All right, here's the link to the publication. And here is the, you can, I mean, you can look at that later. You don't need to spend a whole lot of time at it now. Um, but they, they had a 500 kilowatt radar antenna that they bounced. They sent signals to the sun. Uh, over the course of five years. Here's yeah, has got to stay out of your heart. It's between Sin and uh, Tune. Go ahead. Yeah, that link to that thing, it oh. ain't no good. Oh, hey, yeah, you're right. It, it uh, I have, all right, I have the direct PDF right here. There it is, hosted on my website, so you can grab it there. So they did about a thousand daily radar experiments. This was in uh, El Campo, Texas, between 1961 and 1966 when they published the paper. 
Um, the amount of time that it took for the radar to bounce to the sun and back was just under 1,000 seconds. Now, they know that the, the bounce back was actually from the sun because they sent a coded signal. It wasn't just a sine wave. It wasn't just a square wave. It was a, uh, a sawtooth wave kind of thing. And when they got the same signal back, they, it confirmed that it was the reflection of the signal they sent. You can see in the paper, um, they, uh, they draw the, the, the waves that they got back from the, uh, the, the reflection. So the amount of time it took was just under 1,000 seconds. They did a second one in a different paper. If you want, I can give you that too. That took 960 seconds, they said. Uh, taking the mean, we get 980 seconds, plus or minus 20. When you do the math, because light travels at 300 uh, uh, 300 uh, um, million meters per second. I, I was reading it wrong. And uh, the distance to the sun then, when you just do the math on that, is 147 million kilometers. And if you look at the, uh, the, the error bars there, the margins there, we have 144 million to 150 million about kilometers to the moon. Not to the moon, to the sun. All right, so you find this evidence convincing enough for you to actually believe it? It's a measurement of the distance to the sun. Yes, they bounce straight. Well, it's a claim. It. It's a claimed measurement. It's definitely evidence. I'll give you that. But for in order for me to see that this is actually a valid uh, proof, you'd have to be able to also make the claim that it's actually bouncing off the sun instead of some other thing between you and the sun. Now, we have the dome, we have the magnetosphere, we have the ionosphere, the plasmosphere. How did you determine it wasn't any one of those? Because it's significantly farther away than any of those, because those have been measured in other, uh, at other times. Okay, so, so that would be based on separate claims. Yes, yeah, separate claims of those. Yes, yeah, science is built on, you know, previous previous information well, okay if, I'll, I'll take you i'll take your word for that but you'd still also have to provide the evidence that it didn't bounce off of anything else if it's the same signal it could have bounced off a dome it could have bounced off of any other yeah, thing it, if, from I here to the sun the dome if the dome were 90 or 150 million kilometers away that makes sense but the problem is that they didn't just do it once they sent it when the sun wasn't directly in the path and they get no bounce back and then the sun's in the path they get a bounce back so uh if it's the dome it would be consistent distance since it's not consistent distance it and it was happening when they were pointing at the sun it leads one to conclude that it's very likely the sun so you're timing light and because you get a signal of that same uh wavelength back so the frequency you get of that sawtooth wave, I guess, is the way you describe it. You think that it actually bounced off the sun. Yes, that but is. But you have no way of verifying that it couldn't have bounced off of anything else between us and the sun. It, yep, and that is that is. The, so in the, your mind, you find that compelling enough evidence for you to believe that. And that that is the beauty of science is you can have your own hypothesis about how that happens. Absolutely, and and then you could look at this experiment and other experiments and see if your hypothesis matches observations and you could see about doing your own experiment. So if you have a hypothesis, a testable one, then go ahead and do it and, and see what your answer is. See what you All get. right, so, so this is just one piece of evidence uh, amongst probably more than a dozen other uh, pieces of evidence that you uh, haven't brought forth, probably for obvious reasons. But, I mean, you can't just use one piece of evidence as if it's a proof. If that were the case, then we'd be wrong about a lot of things because they've measured the distance to the sun how many times over the past how many years and had how many different answers to that question. So it kind of seems if we, took the, if we take the whole historical narrative of every distance measured to the sun, it seems like you have this bias to the most recent one instead of all the other ones that they didn't get right. Well, this isn't the most recent one, and I wasn't speaking about the other ones. Yeah, because all the other ones that were supposedly scientifically proven through mathematical theorems and all these uh, ideas of equations and yada yada, 
you didn't find those compelling, but most people during that time were would say the same thing that you're telling me right now. Okay, you're saying this are, is the best you, we have. This is uh, are what you going I find to convincing. address this particular one, or uh, do you want to talk about it? Uh, you want to deflect to a different topic? No, if 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 you find this compelling enough for you to count it as a proof, then I think you have low standards of when. Of when what did you I say proof? As proof? When did I say proof? So you agree it's not a proof? Science doesn't prove things. It is evidence. Okay, so this is not proof of anything. This is nothing just, in science you think is this proof is cool of anything, and you believe it. Nothing in science is proof of anything. Science does not prove things. It finds evidence for or against things. This is evidence for the distance to the sun. Well, it could be evidence for whatever you want it to be, because your interpretation is that you think this is proof. You say no. this actually proves that we can do it. We've you, done you it. Could, therefore, I believe you, it. Could you stop putting words in my mouth? I never said proof. Okay. Well, then what do we have here? We can talk about we what have we think is cool. Right? Evidence. This is a measurement of the distance to the sun by bouncing radar off of it. Okay. So this is one particular evidence that you find interesting and believable. Yes, exactly. I don't know. I have higher standards. So, I mean, whatever works for you. You have higher standards. Excellent. What are your higher standards then? I would try different wavelengths. This study doesn't yeah. seem to have different wavelengths that they use. They didn't use infrared. They didn't use uh, gamma. It seems like they used a yeah. particular wavelength with a certain frequency, yes. a certain very specific thing. So if you want me to go down the list of all the different things you could control for, I think that would take all night. So, well, But I, you know that they didn't do that. You just find this one the most compelling. Well, that's the, fine. If you want to believe yeah. it, that's okay. okay. So, so but, but where is your evidence matching your standard of evidence of the distance to the sun? Then do you have contradictory ev evidence that matches your strict standards? Well, I would say that you could probably do it 30 different ways and have 30 different outcomes. I'm sorry. I was asking for your version, your evidence. No, I'm confident enough. The, if, if I tried it 30 distance. different ways, I'd have 30 different outcomes. Okay, well, then that'd be a pretty sloppy experiment. Now, like I said, that's not the only time it was done. I know, because you have 10 other different done. ways of them doing it, and it they all came done. up with different things. And there's a second one. Second one. So, so when they measure this again in another three or four or five years, and they come up with a different thing, you're going to be telling me that this is you know, the hottest science, the most compelling stuff. And, well, the you one, know, science the first evolves one I said and, was you know, from we don't really care about being wrong because we can be right again in the future whenever we try something else. Okay. So it sounds like all you have is, is denialism. You don't have any actual refutation of it. You don't. All you have is a willingness to believe, even though I've pointed out several times historically that they've gotten wrong measurements coming up with all these different yeah, but, ways but is scientifically. this one wrong? You just is like this, this one wrong? for some reason. You think this, this one, one is, is not anything different than the, you know, the rest? I of I see. Okay. All right. So now, now you, you mentioned find this one believable because you, you mentioned have low the dome. Could you show me the the uh, measurements to the dome that match your same strict standard of evidence, please? The dome was used as a criticism for what it could also be. It, I hypothesized it because it could be okay. any number of different things that we can't verify because Excellent. you don't want to test for them. Okay. Well, you're I, counting things out, whereas I'm excluding all the variables because yeah. that's what scientists would do, right? Sounds like you're just doing what ifism. So, well, all, I mean, all we, you if need you're going to do, think about how we're going to do something, we want to consider all the variables. Sure, and try sure. To yeah. So, it, right? so, show what's wrong. You have anything sh that was in particular wrong about it? No, but the, I think that okay. the Good. the ways of measuring how you could be wrong you what, outweigh how, how you about, think it could be how right. How about you read it in your spare time and come back with, you, with your refutation of it at a different time? I understand in Oof. right during the debate you, you you can't you can't read it and get all the details. So I no, it's just it's something for I've noticed this with a lot of globers. They will read something like that, the thing that you just sent, and they will find it absolutely compelling and they'll buy into it. And then, you know what, you know, new science will come along and science space.com that'll say something different. And you'll be like, oh, you know, science community is improving. We're getting yes, smarter. Exactly. Our equations are getting bigger. It's like, come on, dude. I, we've seen this a million times historically. And this is just another chapter in the same book. You guys don't know how to do it. All you guys have is mathematical interpretations that are based on guess. That's not based on guess at all. What, what part of it was a guess? The part where you shot a, a, a light 
you shot a, 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 radar, a, a radar, wave. Radar, not a light. Yeah. Well, radar is part of the electromagnetic spectrum, but it's not which light. Is light. Radar is okay, not light. Okay, electromagnetic spectrum there is you light. Go. Good. Yeah. No, electromagnetic spectrum is, is light. Electromagnetic light, spectrum. light is a very small subset of the electromagnetic spectrum. We no, covered that before. Light is a part of the whole. Can you play me anything on the electromagnetic spectrum that isn't light? Yes, everything that's outside the visible range is not light. So there is no such thing as invisible light. Is that really you want to go down that path? <laughs> light is light is what we see. Okay, but, so infrared, but infrared is infrared, not uh, infrared light and ultraviolet is, is is considered part of that. But microwaves are not visible; they're not part of the light. Neither, so they're not light because we can't see it. Yeah, X rays and gamma rays are not light as well. So okay, so you seem to have you haven't grasped the concept of seen and unseen light. You seem to think that because it doesn't reach in the bandwidth of visible spectrum, it's therefore not light. Correct. It, it's that is exactly correct. That is not okay. Light. Well, then specifically the definition, I... <laughs> specifically the the definition of of light is in a certain frequency range, and X rays and gamma rays are outside that range. They are not frequency light. of light. Okay, so you seem to think that energy isn't light. Can you show me any light that any energy that doesn't uh, show me light without energy? Show me energy without light. You won't be able to do any of those because it's all light, I, all I, electromagnetic. I, did you not listen to the to when we talked last time? <laughs> when you denied everything about it and you didn't have an answer because now you oh think that gosh. the electromagnetic spectrum isn't light. That's right. The electromagnetic spectrum is not light. Why, why do I need to cover this with you? This is covered in high school physics. Because you think you can bounce light off of other light and by its weak no, uh, its no, frequency, No, I think, we can I think say that you can it's... bounce radar off of the sun. That's different. Radar You're is not light. You're light off of light. Right? No, no. The sun is not light. It is matter. It is protons, neutrons, How did you determine and electrons. That? How did you determine that? That's a claim that I don't think you can <laughs> yes. ever validate. And I and I can and I can show those other studies as well, different okay. times if you want. Nothing that Time, you've done, just timed, stories that you bought into, right? Well, the standard of evidence for science isn't that I have to do everything myself. Yeah, you don't have to do any science. You just have to look into it and believe it because you heard a story. The globe requires Sorry. a story. No, flat no, Earth doesn't require any it, story. Flat Earth doesn't require any any standard of evidence. Of course, I get that. No, nope. yes, but we don't require any but, stories. We <laughs> have empirical reality. Oh yes. Oh, very. <laughs> well, I know. go ahead. Globe is struggling with that. Where's your empirical measurement of the height of the sun? My claim about the sun is I see it move above me. It doesn't require a That's story. That's you said empirical. Where's your empirical? Come on, let's get the. I empirical see the stuff. sun move above me. Where's your empirical stuff? Come on. You said you, ha that's you, said you have a period. No, based on my experience. My no, senses right, tell me I not. see the sun move above and me. What's its no height? story required. What's its height? Doesn't matter. It, it certainly does Completely matter. Completely abstract it of what certainly really actually does, matter. does matter. If you want a story, we can give you a story. You guys only have stories. <laughs> oh, somebody said this. Light is a transverse electromagnetic, electromagnetic wave that can be seen by the typical human. Yeah, so... You don't seem to grasp the concept of seen and unseen light. And you haven't understood the frequencies that the electromagnetic spectrum has, that the visible spectrum is only a portion of the whole greater spectrum. All right. Did you, all right this is so embarrassing. You, you're you. also an ether denier, I presume, Yes, right? ether does not exist. It was thoroughly disproven. <laughs> well, that's why times. you're struggling with this. Uh, well, so if, maybe, you have if you have anything for else, that. because I don't think you're going to understand the concepts of light because you don't really understand... Uh, well, that that's yeah. that's an ad hom there. Uh, thank you for that. Well, that's tough. So if if you could just actually provide evidence for your claims instead of ad homs, that would be very. There nice. is enough evidence to conclude that you can't distinguish what that experiment even was doing, because you seem to it's, think that so far you've radio just waves it. aren't light. Uh, yes, radio waves are not light. light. Radio not waves light? are okay. not light. Why do we have to go over this again? We don't. It's just that you came to me bringing forth. You with no, an you experiment keep saying, shooting light at other light. No, it's and not. You don't know anything light. about light. Why so do you keep kind of saying difficult. that radar is light? Because it's on the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic Energy, spectrum light. is not just light. Okay, so what how, distinguishes how... light from energy? It's frequency. Oh, the bandwidth no. of its frequency, oh the gosh. oscillation, the vibration. All oh these words gosh. have meanings, right? Not to you. You just you just throw them around with vague stuff. It, it's not how it works. 
I'm trying to bail you out here, man. If you want to change topic, it seems right. like you're not. I'll explain. I'll sp- explain this, this to you. I'll explain this to you. <laughs> um, the energy in a photon of light. A photon. You believe yep. in photons. Here they we go absolutely again. Absolutely, are empirically Another verified. belief you can't validate. So you just verified. tell me a story. So the the energy in a photon of light, or Oof. any electromagnetic uh, uh, frequency, is is determined by the Einstein Planck equation. That's E equals h v. V is the um, uh, the wavelength. H okay, is a wavelength of what? Light or so photons are light, right? Light is photons. Photons are more than just light. So are there yeah. radio photons? Yes. Okay, so there are ra- is radio light. Radio is not light, no. So photons are light and radio waves are photons. Look, I'm not... I, <laughs> you, your misunderstanding <laughs> oh, of the electromagnetic spectrum yeah, right. is not helping you here. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to debate whether or not light is... Uh, the the entire electromagnetic spectrum that's ridiculous of course yeah because you admitted that light is photons in your worldview yes because you light is photons stuff, and i got you to say that radio waves are photons which yes. are light by your Ra- own admission no no it's not all birds are doves Uh-oh. this is this is <laughs> this nut hatch is a bird therefore that nut hatch is a dove <laughs> that's what you're saying well, that's a false equivalent. That's, no, that's you, exactly you right. Really you're, that is a false equivalent saying that. that's what you're doing. That's why I'm saying that, that this, is, this isn't helping you. But if you want to show that flat earthers can't even understand the difference between electromagnetic light and electromagnetic things other than light, you please keep going. No, I think, I think we demonstrated my point pretty no, clearly. You, you certainly did. Absolutely. You said photons are light, and then radio waves are photons. Yes, but photons aren't radio waves. Then aren't light. It's I don't know how to help you out that one. Yeah, sorry, you, you, you don't understand. That's good. All right, I tried so to bail can, you out with the topic. Can change, you man, see? Can you on see up. radio waves? You can't see radio waves, but they're still light. They're no, seen they're in unseen light. All right, where they're just is not in a bandwidth that where is your empirical? Where is your empirical measurement of the ether? Uh, if can you measure light? Where is your empirical measurement of the ether? Okay, well, first we have to conclude, or at least you have to concede, that light is energy, and all energy is light. No, not at okay, all. Okay, because you're a Absolutely photon guy. not. That's exactly why you won't concede that, because you think photons exist. Do you have evidence to the contrary? Yeah, um, there's a lot of people that have come before. Right, send, send, uh, send it. Send it right in the chat. You want me to name some ether field I, theorists? I, I, want, I want the, the, the peer-reviewed study Post it in the chat. I'll just wait for it. Go ahead. Um, you got Boltzmann. You got uh, Tesla. You got. Uh, we can run down the list. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right? Put, put people them, who all put accepted them, the ether and put them right in the photon. Right in the uh, right in the chat. Go ahead. Oh, the, these studies. Man. Well, I didn't know I'd have to educate you on this with a lot of different sources. Hey, but you're I claiming, can walk you through the argument. You're claiming that ether exists. That's a positive claim. It's definitely a huge claim because it goes contrary to an awful lot of science. So just go ahead and post it in there. <clears throat> well, I'm not. I haven't done any of the research prepared well, then to why show would you, you claim what the ether that? is. Why but would I'm you more claim than that? willing to have a conversation with you in which I describe to you what it is with words. Oh, okay. Well, let's hear it. It's then. not formulas. I know you guys. You guys love no, those formulas. I like but empirical. I'm articulate I like empirical. myself with language, right? With words. Yeah, empirical measurements. That's what I. Yes. Like. Anytime you measure. Okay. So there's three uh, aspects of the ether. There's electricity, there's magnetism, and there's something else. I forgot. It's off the top of my head. But any sort of energy in, in every expression of itself, however it manifests, is the ether. So you have, uh, for instance, light is an aspect of the ether. Magnetism, aspect of the ether. Anything related to the energy that we live in is in one field, Right. But the only alternative you have is pseudo Ramonian force space when you think that nothing bends. So you think when you look out in space, what is space made of? Is it made of nothing? MC10. I'm, I'm just, I'm just waiting for you. I'm just waiting for you to present your evidence. Go uh, bring forth the evidence. Energy is evidence right there. 
Light Go is ahead. evidence. Go ahead. Right the empirical there. empirical evidence. Go Are ahead. you going to deny light? Are you going to deny energy? Are you going to deny magnetism? Are you going to deny all this stuff? Go ahead. Go ahead. Just present your empirical evidence. Okay. Do you want me to Wikipedia? Light no, I, I want you to pre Hold on. present the empirical We're evidence make as of the, of the ether. Now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think you just got brainwashed. So you're at a point where you can't possibly learn anything other than what you've been taught. <laughs> And because it goes against your narrative, no, no, and all no, your this, this research, isn't this uh, isn't your time to soapbox. This is your time you. to present empirical evidence of the ether. Go ahead, bring forth the evidence. The evidence for the ether is energy itself. And and the, did you calculate? Are you going to deny energy? The, so just just that it exists. So huh? that's pretty pretty basic there. It's I don't see how that basic how, how would you of reality, yeah. how would you draw that conclusion? Uh, that's a non sequitur. Okay, do you think that we live... Okay, you think that there's space that's got some boundaries or whatever. I mean, I don't really know what you believe. Um, uh, it, you it, believe? it has I nothing to do... I don't know what you believe. It has nothing to do with thing. what I believe. It has to do with you providing empirical evidence of the ether. Go ahead. We live in an energy field. That energy field is described as the ether. Go ahead. Go ahead. Present the evidence. The empirical evidence. You said... As a flat earther, what do you want? That you, you want have the, I'll give you the cosmic evidence. background radiation. Well, that that's do it for that's you? just the re receiving of electromagnetic radiation. Oh, that, that there is you not... go. You're saying all the right words. Yeah, you're so just receiving it. On. The problem is just receiving, you're receiving it doesn't, the energy. doesn't mean that it's ether. So empirical measurements of the ether. Go ahead. You empirical said empirical measurements of the ether you, are you said, based on the cosmic background radiation. How 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 does that happen? We determined that there's a field of energy that perturbates at different uh, intensities throughout every visible thing we've ever seen. Okay, and how is that? How do you conclude ether from that? So we conclude that we live in a field that has energy that perturbates, and we occupy ourselves within it. Okay, and how now, does that do you conclude need, ether? Do you need evidence for that, or is that kind of self-explanatory? I, I, I think self you, you need. So far, it's a non sequitur. You said there's energy, therefore ether, but that doesn't oh match. God. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you're just going to deny that we live in an energy field, then... Uh, I didn't deny we live in an energy field. No, well, I I, I'm you... waiting for you to present the evidence, the empirical evidence, because you're the one that said that you have empirical evidence, the empirical evidence that it is the ether. Go ahead. I feel like I've already done this. I feel like you've done exactly and to do nothing. it again would be kind of exhausting at this you, point. You didn't, you didn't do but anything. I can really try. I'll give it another effort. We live in a field of energy. That energy perturbates through this field at different intensities and manifests itself through different ways. Magnetism is an example. Uh, electricity is an example. Light itself is the proof of this phenomenon. That's uh, still a non sequitur. You didn't, you didn't link them together okay. at all. Yeah, I, I think here we go again. <laughs> That's just claims. Claims are not uh, evidence. Yes. You're asking me to make an argument for it. I'm going to make claims no. and provide evidence yeah. through what but you I didn't understand provide to evidence. Be with with uh, where's the evidence you're the one that okay. said you have empirical evidence where's Let's the empirical evidence can we, can oh we sure sure I'm, I'm glad to move on this is retarded glad to move on oof <laughs> expert level just hand wave right there i mean <laughs> i'm still waiting for you you never provided any evidence so i, I don't i mean i see that it's circular so i'm happy to move on i don't since you can you steal okay Let's let's actually do it a different way. Can you steel man my argument or what you think I just said? No, be, because there was there uh, was no link. Can't, there was no link between them. Of... There was no yeah. link. You said there's energy, therefore ether. I don't see how that that happened together. It's a bunch. Okay, of so if steps. I ask you, can you show me gravity, and you say things fall down, and I would no, I wouldn't say, say, say that. You said, That's not no. actually evidence for gravity. That's not how I would do it. No, <laughs> well, you would do it probably worse. So I, I probably helped you out on that. You would say evidence the, for gravity. Thanks for the ad hoc. Uh, yep, another ad hoc. Let's stick to the, uh, stick you to the arguments. You ad hoc me guys. by completely disregarding every attempt I tried to let's make. Let's stick to the arguments. To cool. So hey, he uh, doesn't have an argument. He's just going to deny everything I say. And when I ask him to repeat back what I say, he's going to act like he didn't say anything. So it's a waste of time. But you, you said energy, therefore ether is is, is my steel man of, of your, your claim. But um, I don't see how they connect. So. If if I, if you ask me to, to describe a dog, I'm going to describe aspects of the dog, right? I'm going to say, oh, it's got fur. Oh, it's got four legs. 
Therefore, these cats. are basic ways of me describing the dog, right? Yeah, but you say therefore cat. Oh, that's, wow. Oof. Yeah. That's tough, man. Right? All right. So uh, what what actual <laughs> empirical evidence do you have then? Because you said flat earthers have empirical evidence. What empirical evidence do you have? Uh, I, we experienced, uh, when, if I go to the beach, right? Here's a measurement. I know you guys love measurement. I can take a ruler and put it right up to the horizon and measure it horizontal. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, and, and how much bulge would you expect at the, that elevation? If I'm right at the shoreline, yeah, and I look out in every direction from left to right, it's going to be completely horizontal. A third grader could take a, a ruler, put it up to that horizon, and measure it to be flat, which is an aspect of this horizontal level plane that we're describing. I see. And and how much? And you don't curve? even actually do that. You can just look at it. That's the, your empirical well, the, under, your well, senses. So, all right, tell so you, you have you have a hypothesis. You have a hypothesis that that the Earth. No, I'm not doing is... science here. It's no science. Just and cleanse it, please. Let him answer. <laughs> it's it's well, it is science. Measurements are part of science, but we could do a hypothesis from this hypothesis the earth is a sphere with a, a particular radius and at the beach when you're sitting when you're just a few feet above the surface of the water with a sphere of that particular radius there will be a particular amount of curve left to right so what you do is then you calculate the quantity of curve that you should see and then you compare that to your measurements so how did you how did you calculate the quantity of curve I'm not measuring for curve because that's a hypothesis that's not part of what I'm looking for. I'm I'm here okay. to study the nature of our reality. I look at its aspects. One of the aspects is that it seems to present itself to be horizontal. Okay, I so can now measure if... that and I can experience that. The only way that I could ever believe that it's a globe would be through means of some sort of story or a presuppositional maybe claim that I could validate through. I don't know how you would do it, but we don't experience any of that, so... So, all right, so, so in short, it's um, the, the horizon appears straight to you. Yeah, as far as I can see, at every distance, okay. from any altitude, from any it, altitude. Pre it presents itself to be a flat plane, yes. Okay, well, then I suppose at all, every altitude, all, actually. All, that, all that we would need to do is find one instance of the horizon being curved to falsify that position. So I've put into the chat a photograph of the horizon being curved. All right, so and here's here is, an argument. Here is another one. I love from, these pictures. From an airplane. You're going to love my response to this. Being curved. So bring right. forth the hand waving. All right, so in your pictures, we'll take your examples because you seem to suggest that this is Earth curved. Now, when I see pictures like this, I see a circumference of light over a flat plane. This matches what we would expect to see on a flat plane. Oh, so that's your hypothesis. So at every altitude, you're going to see a circumference of light over a flat plane. Welcome to Flat Earth. It's okay. pretty much all we ever see. So what is the distance, uh, the, the radius of the flat plane disk that you're talking about so that we can actually test your hypothesis? I've personally never measured it. All I know is that I can see it. It's empirical enough. I understand conceptually what a circumference of light would do and how it would look over a flat plane. Okay, so you don't have a you don't have a testable hypothesis. You can't you can't actually confirm or deny anything since you don't have a you want to test how big of a circle you have? But it's you your claim it. it's your claim that it's a disc. Okay, so let's take your picture and measure the circumference of the circle here. Let's do it. Take any one of your pictures. We can do it right here, right now. Yeah, go ahead. What would you say the circumference is that's, based that's, on what we see here? Of the, of the, the disc? I the don't circumference, know. That's your, the that's circumference of light that's your on the flat plane there. That's your claim. You, you do the math. Go ahead. No, you're claiming that's earth curvature. I'm saying no, that's the no, circumference no, no. of light you, over you a flat said, plane. You said you always see flat from every elevation. I gave Absolutely. you two pictures of not flat falsifying your claim. I see every picture you posted shows me a flat plane with a circle of light over it. But it's not flat. I, that's a claim. You are you yeah. have to deny reality or just completely misunderstand intentionally so, my whole argument. So a, cur a curved horizon is evidence not for the curve of the Earth. 
Mm, well, you, no. you painted there's, yourself there's, there's a corner there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At every distance, at every altitude, you're going to see th- in a 360 degree, if you spin around in a circle, it's going to be a circle of light in every direction. Your understanding is that that circle is actually the the rim of an earth that's curving. Sure. Okay. But so, that's just not what so, it would look like. So it matches both models then at, at yeah, best. Yeah, I'd say right. so. Okay. So so your your the horizon looks flat isn't evidence for flat earth because it it predicts the globe predicts at low elevation that you can't see it well enough with your bare eyes that you need precise measurements to do that. And at high elevation, the globe predicts that you can see it when you start getting high enough. And both of those observations are confirmed for the globe. And you say they're both confirmed for flat earth. So now, Absolutely. do you have any empirical evidence for flat earth? Oh, well, a circumference is a circle, which is flat. And we observe that in reality. So okay, that's so pretty do, conclusive. Do you have any evidence for the flat earth? A circle is a circumference. A circumference is a 2D. You can have a circumference on a plane. That plane will be flat. We see that in reality. Okay. Hey, pretty conclusive. We went over that. So, so do you have something something else then, maybe? Some empirical evidence for something else for Flat Earth? Since that one matches both. Do you have I mean, something that, that maybe does it? pretty much does it for me. I mean... <laughs> yeah, but it matches both. It doesn't do it for you at all because you can't draw a conclusion either way, according to you. So which which is the evidence that doesn't match the globe then, maybe? Do you have any empirical evidence that doesn't match the globe? I think your understanding of refraction is uh, counterintuitive because when, okay, let me ask this, and maybe you have an answer that I've never heard before. How would you distinguish empirically the difference between refraction and earth curvature? Would you know the difference between refraction and earth curvature if you saw it? Certainly, yes, yes. Okay, so not, say not, you're not at with the beach. my own eyes. I, we could, we can model. Not with, then how would you see it? You can well, you can measure it. So you can model how a refraction model affects is because, not reality because we know. Well, that's how you do science. You you develop a model and then you test that model. Right? Did you should know that, right? So yeah, but you're uh, using math, and math can be used to make up pretty much anything. Well, then then just show where it's wrong. That's all you need to do. If 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 there's something wrong with the math, you just show the error in the math. You don't no, just get, I think... you don't just say. I don't like the math and some people have used it wrong. Therefore it all is wrong. You need to show specifically where it's wrong. So we know how Snell's law works. People are able to make camera lenses that are very, uh, very precise to bend light in certain ways. People have empirically measured the effects of refraction in the air. Uh, they've developed very detailed and strong, um, mathematical models. Absolutely which have been confirmed empirically. And I'm glad to send those to you if you want. I'll, I'll pull up a couple right now. So we know that um, in the atmosphere, under all but uh, the most extreme circumstances, refraction causes things to appear slightly higher, not slightly lower. If they okay. caused, if, if light caused things to appear slightly lower, then it could make it look like a curve going down. But since light actually does the opposite any curve that going down that you see is definitely real okay so i just want to clarify with you um you think looming uh there's a type of refraction we describe as looming right presumably you are are familiar with that right i've heard the term yes Okay, there's also, according to Andrew Thomas Young, another form of this refractive effect called sinking refraction. Are you aware of that? Yes, I'm, af- I'm aware of that as well. All right, can you provide any example? And I know I'm putting you on the spot, so take your time. You can DM it to me whenever. Can you provide me an example of sinking refraction? What does it look like? And how would we determine sinking refraction from Earth curvature? I'd be curious to see that. Absolutely. If, if you did not know anything about the uh, conditions of the air, then then you would not be able to know. But fortunately, people know what the conditions are typically. Hopefully, if somebody's going to be doing some observations, they pay attention. So sinking is, is requires cold air to be higher than warm air, a very unstable condition. So one thing that, that you can look at optically is drastic um distortions in 
in what you're looking at. For example, you might see things that are straight that you know to be straight lines that are wavy. Do you know how impossible it would be to measure from your position to any um, object that you're looking at? You would have to measure columns of pressure and all these different angles of light. You're and all absolutely this other stuff. correct. Yeah. There's no way that we could possibly measure all the different variables in that, right? Yeah, it depends on the margin of error that you're you're necessarily trying to get for your measurement. You, you probably have a big margin of error with that, right? Absolutely a huge margin of error, yes. Okay, well, that's fair enough. And uh, I think when it comes to making long-distance observations, most often than not, it's done over water which has the most, you know, difficult type of optical uh, yeah, I would, mirage. I would not stuff. want I would not want to do it over water. That's a, a bad are. place to do it. Well, that's why that's why you'd have to admit that boats sinking um, at the horizon isn't really evidence of earth curvature because just as I asked you, it'd be difficult for you to even show me a picture of sinking refraction and it would be even more difficult for you to distinguish sinking refraction from earth curvature. And if you can, I'd love to see how you did that. Well, the, the nice thing is that sinking refraction is extremely rare and highly unstable. It does not happen often. And when it does, there are large numbers of visual cues that we can see. So if you see non-chaotic conditions, then it's very unlikely that you're seeing any, any uh, inversions like that where you have cold air higher than warm air. Well, like I said, you can DM me anytime, any picture of sinking refraction. Um, I've never seen to this day any example of sinking refraction. I see boats okay. that appear to sink at the horizon. I can write that off as an illusion because I understand that light has, he plays these tricks. But the opposite of sinking refraction tricks. would be looming. And the baseline for sinking and looming would be a flat earth. So that's why I think well, flat why earth is that has the, a, a that, better, why is stronger that argument on that. Because if you have an optical effect like looming and you have the opposite or the inversion of that effect, which would be sinking, the baseline would be a flat earth. I, I tell you what, I would say exactly the opposite just because it's an arbitrary claim from you. I'm going to make the same arbitrary claim that it's the baseline is a curve. All right, then here we are with it's like the circle at an uh, impasse. the ball earth go, versus the have circumference to have some measurements. Map. You need some measurements. Well, I don't know how we'd go about measuring that. And I don't know anybody oh, who's well, ever even began to oh, well, try to I, decide here, how here to do that. Right there in the chat. There's a measurement of it. Measurement called monitoring the refraction coefficient of the lower atmosphere using a controlled setup of simultaneous reciprocal, reciprocal vertical angle measurements. There you go. In the chat, you can look at that in your own time. Another one, account of the observations and calculations of the principal triangulation and figure dimensions and mean specific uh, gravity of the Earth as derived there from by Alexander Ross Clark. I'll drop that in as well. Well, if you, okay, so don't scatter gun and dump a whole bunch of stuff, you know, I'm not going to look into. You, you said, looking you for, said it's never I'm been done or pictures. you never knew of it. So there you go. No, I, I'm sure. Look, listen, the globe model has been around for I don't know how long. Uh, they say thousands of years. I'm sure you guys have so much data, it would make my brain completely sick, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. But guess what? You don't have any pictures of any of this. You have charts, graphs, numbers, you, formulas, nothing yeah, but when in reality. I, when I give you pictures, you just deny them. So You haven't shown me a picture of sinking refraction. No, yet. I showed you a picture of the curve of the horizon, and you just said, oh, oh that's, that's, that's our thing. No, we had an epistemological difference. You see a curve <laughs> on a 3D ball. I see a plane with a circumference of light. Sure, sure. I mean, we're going to have you to meet... But you, you know, never confirmed that, right? What's the radius of? of you never of confirmed B? it. You just made a claim, and you said there's formulas. Therefore, these formulas. No, I didn't say that. When, when did I say that? You were gonna say it, so I said it for oh, you. Oh, I was gonna say it. No, you <laughs> don't know what I was gonna say. Well, don't yeah, put words I in mean, my mouth. I I know you guys' arguments. Don't put all words you have in my mouth. Formulas and claims. That no, you all we have is measurements. Models. That's about it. I gave you measurements. No, you didn't give me measurements. Monitoring the refraction coefficient in the lower atmosphere using you a control a setup of simultaneous reciprocal vertical angle measurements is measurements of the effects of refraction in the lower atmosphere. That's a measurements, cool claim. Not calculations, not just formulas. Measurements. They actually went out to the field with the otolites pointed at each other and had them measure the effects. Yeah, I could say the same thing. I could dump a PDF on you. Send it. 4, word. Send it. You don't have I, them, okay, though. So 
give me two hours them. and an afternoon off. I'll type up something that's just as believable no, no, as no. anything you dumped on just me. Just typing it. This is this isn't type. This is the result of you actual work. You read it and you believed it. This is the result of actual work. People okay. actually did this. And you actually believe that this is work. People and actually you did it that. Because yes, they wrote they it down 100% and you bought into did it. it. That's how science works. If they did it wrong and lied about it, then they would get exposed because their data would be wrong when somebody else goes to do it. And they say that doesn't match. Okay. okay. That's MC the beauty 10. of science. If somebody fakes it, they get called it's not out. Science. You know, you're misusing the term, but this, this actually goes back to my initial question. And because we're on this exact topic, I'll ask it again. What cannot be described by a formula? I don't know what what cannot be described as a formula. You go well, ahead. you think you, these are mathematical proofs, and I'm sure you think that math I, is just a language. So by using math, you think that this proves something. I, absolutely so saying not. So something don't, by don't your logic words, proves don't something. Put, don't put words in my mouth. Go ahead. Go it's ahead. just a logical understanding. It's don't, a don't put words in my mouth. You think that formulas are proof. No. You think that math proves things. Math is a language, so therefore you think saying things proves something. No. That's all you guys have. Will you stop putting words in my mouth? Okay, so what did I get wrong about that? I don't claim proof in science. We're talking about math here. Strictly math, not science. Just strictly in math, there is proof, but I'm not talking about strictly math. So you have mathematical proof here? No, we're not talking about mathematical proofs here. So you don't have scientific proof and you don't have mathematical There's proof. No such you thing just as, have an opinion and a belief. There's no such thing as scientific proof. Within the strict realms of math, Oof. there are proofs but we're not talking about them. So if you want to stick to pure math, you can say, well, we can look at Euclid's uh, book three, proposition 18, and we can look at the, the mathematical proof of that. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about measurements. Anything? Check, check. Can you hear me? Yeah. What happened? All right. Sorry. My internet went out for there for a second. I didn't hear anything you said. <laughs> so, all right. So I wasn't talking about uh, proof in science. Science does not prove things in a binary way that is uh, forever. That's, that's what proof means typically. So within math, yes. So for example, and you probably didn't hear this, Euclid's book three, proposition 18 is a mathematical proof, but in science, we don't have that. Okay. So, so I'm going to ask you again, since you're going to make the claim that there is no scientific proof that, or at least you don't have any scientific proof. I asked you, do you have any math? Because I'm presuming that you just admitted you have mathematical proofs, or at least you believe in mathematical you, you proofs. Just, you just want math for what? I want any sort of proof. You don't have. You haven't presented any proof. You you're just right. dumped on a whole bunch of words yeah, you're and formulas. You're right. Science. I asked you proof. about That's... are these mathematical proofs, and you you waffled on that. Yeah, yeah. Proof claims of proof is is what pseudoscience does. No, I, no, that's fine. That's a fine clarification. I accept that, that that you concede you don't have any proof, scientific or even mathematical proofs. Well, so where, what I'm are not, we talking about? I'm not about? talking what? about mathematical proofs. I'm talking about because you don't have any mathematical proofs and you don't have uh, any scientific. Proofs. Why? Why do you keep talking about mathematical proofs? I don't care about mathematical proofs. This isn't a discussion about whether or not some particular mathematical proof is is good or not. OK, in your in your PDFs, are there any formulas in it? Of course there are. OK, are these formulas used to make an argument that you find believable? They're used to uh, in conjunction with the measurements to establish okay. what happened. Yeah. To measure. Well, we, since you, you can't, can't show many of these. You can't do measurements. You can't do normal measurements without math. It's impossible. There's no such thing as a real direct measurement in, in, in anything other than the most simple form. So well, anytime, you need math because... anytime you do any measurement, you're going to use math other than the most basic one. What's the volume of an egg? You can't do it without math. Right. So anytime there's a measurement other than counting crayons, you're going to be using math. Actually, counting crayons is going to use math too, isn't it? 
So counting, so cannon crayons is proof. Uh, why, why are there? Hey, like, no, there's a debate going on, Nito. Why are there 30 people? Like, sur- <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Nito? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Floor is yours, guys. <laughs> well, okay, so you're saying that there's measurements. We haven't really confirmed any of these measurements. They're just words on paper with graphs and formulas. If that's what you consider as, uh, you know, a believable, acceptable, permissible standard of proof, by all means. If you want a story, they're going to give you a story. I okay, don't find well, it convincing. Okay, so, You've already said it's not actual proof, and I agree with it. So Okay, so so th- I keep going back then to this, since since you don't want words on paper. No, no, we, don't be the dead you, horse. I know what you're you saying. You are, now it's your chance then to show your empirical uh, whatever meets your standard of evidence for flat Earth. Go ahead. When I look at a flat horizon, I don't need a story. It is what it is. I okay, see yeah, it. That, I that's not it. empirical. That's that's nothing. That's pretty. Uh, that's, that's pretty, pretty lame. empirical to me. That's way under your own standard. No of evidence. story required. That's way under your own standard of evidence. There's no. I mean, there's no it story doesn't required. Doesn't even come close. When I look to at a flat horizon, it is what it is. A story. Your version of what you think is you're seeing requires a story. Sure, sure. I don't so, require a story. Yeah. So no, no empirical measurements. You got nothing. You, that's the oh, best dude, we you measure have. Everything. That's the you want to measure how flat water is? Yes. You can measure that. Show me day. the flatness yeah. of water. Go ahead. Show me Guess the what? measurement you, of the flatness. The of water. measurement of flat water is going to give it. you a horizontal. Let's see it. Where is the measurement of flat water? So a horizontal is not going to have any deviation from straight, right? Correct. Where that's is what that? we measure. That's why it? it's flat. Let's that's see it. why it's horizontal. Where is it? So you want me to show you a measurement where they have you a straight line? You said you had it. Bring it forward. Every measurement ever done is going to be a straight line Bring measurement. It. Bring it. Where is the measurement you just said you had? I want to see it. Okay, so I can tell you how to do it because I don't have. No, no, I don't no. know what you want. A you PDF, said video, you uh, had it. You said you go on and on about how flat Earth has empirical evidence. So bring it. Yeah, I can measure bring, it in a bathtub. Bring it. <laughs> bring Fill the you up em- your bathtub with water. Take out your ruler. There you got a measurement of water and wow. the aspect of being flat. That's horizontal. There you go. That matches with what we see on a grander scale. So it scales. Oh my gosh, where where is the grander scale? Let's see it. Uh, well, check bigger in than, chat. Don posted a picture of it. Bigger than a bathtub. What, Look at what's that. The, There's some flat. Yeah, what's the units in that measurement? Measurements well, we of got units. distances. Units, yes. And what's the... Feet, de- you want feet? I want the deviation from the horizontal. Feet of flat? I want the deviation from there the horizontal. There is no deviation from horizontal. It's flat. Well, show the measurement of that deviation. How did you confirm You want a that straight line. Look at it. It's a straight I line. We can measure it. No show, deviation. I want you to show the measurement of the deviation. Being There's zero. no deviation. Excellent. It's you should horizontal. be able to show that show that lack of deviation then. Go ahead. How do you get a deviation if there's no baseline? All right. Uh, data, there is a, a debate going on between sin and tune only. Every direct measurement, if you're using, I don't know what you'd be using, um, say a ruler, say a tape measure, it's going to be from A to B, it's going to be a straight line measurement. Oh, let's see that it. can Go measure ahead. the earth. You can measure it anywhere on earth. Go ahead. Send it. I gave you, you an said, example. No, no, Fill I don't want an example. With water. I want the line actual measurement. measurement. Send the actual measurement. Go ahead. You said you Man. had empirical measurements. You said I don't even you know had if it's this. worth it at this point. Go ahead. You got you painted yourself in a corner. You said you had it and you don't. You asked me to show the der- the derivation or the deviation from straight or horizontal. Yes, I'm saying I show that there the is no deviation from straight or horizontal. Exactly. Well, show it is me straight how. And horizontal. Y- y- that's just circular. Where is the measurement? No, it's reaffirming. Actually, that's it's circular. You said it's, it's... circular reasoning is reaffirming. Yeah. Yeah. Where where is the actual measurement of the deviation being zero? I told you how to do it. I can lead you to water. I can't make no, you. You, don't, you it. said you had every it. measurement. You of painted water yourself is in be the corner with straight lines. You p- said you had it. So where is it? Why are you I, deflecting? This is another dead end. I'm sorry. Why are you Jim. deflecting another from your claim? End. You claimed that you had it. Where is it? You didn't like my bathtub analogy. I told you how to do it. You and, said uh, you said you have it on grander scales. Where is these grander scales? Show the measurements on grander scales. Go ahead. Well, how would we measure anything? Presumably with a theodolite or a transit, an auto level, any sort of optic. 
sure. is going to be using straight lines, right? Within within the uh, refractive capabilities of the instrument okay, and the conditions, so, yes. So let's account for the refraction. It's still going to be used measuring with straight lines, it, right? If you can account for absolutely, yep. You can, okay, you can so we got straight lines. Everything is measured with straight lines, yes, and we let's... have to include refraction, which is a known illusion effect that we can account for. Okay. Still straight, still so, measured, known and accounted for. Excellent. So you have them. Let's see them. Every measurement ever done with a theodolite or any other optic uh, reticle. Let's see it. Look up what a theodolite is. Look what it looks like. You, look down that, one of them. Wait, that, that's there your you claim. Go. There's your measurements. It's straight your claim. line. What, where is it? Where's okay, your claim? Go to YouTube, type in theodolite. It's going to be a straight line. When you look through that uh, that optic, it's going to be a straight line measurement, right? Presumably. Okay. okay. So, Do you agree? Yeah. So go. So there's your measurement. Go, right? go to the water, point the theodolite over the water, turn it to 90 degrees from zenith, right? Going to have a straight line. It's horizontal. It's flat. Okay. And so what will you see then if you turn it 90 degrees from zenith? When you're at uh, when you're at the the water, don't give me stories. You're the one that complained about stories. What are you gonna see? You have these measurements. I feel like the point is uh, I've made it oh, pretty you, clearly. Oh no, you, you did make it pretty clearly. It. You said it's obvious you don't you want to accept that this. <laughs> I only have stories and no measurements. You have so far only told stories and and refused to give measurements. So please tell me though, what would you see in a theodolite? If you turned it 90 degrees from Zenith. You're going to see a straight line. Okay. What does that mean when you see a straight line? Where is you the, see where is the horizontal, line. where's the horizontal line of that theodolite going to line up with, in relation to the be, horizon? If you line up, if you put the theodolite on the beach, you, you level it out, right? Yeah. Which is going to be, uh, give you, you're going to be leveling it. So it's going to be perpendicular to plumb. It's going to be a straight line, right? Yep. That is a measurement. Okay. And what are you going to see then? If if the earth is flat, what are you going to see? Doesn't matter what we see. We're going to be using straight lines. That's the measurement. Okay. So what what is that? Because you only the theodolite, you look through it and then you get a, a measurement. So when you look through the telescope of the theodolite, when you've turned it 90 from Zenith, what are you going to see if the earth is flat? In relation to the horizon, what are you going to see? This is done. Oh, I, I, you certainly are done. <laughs> we can either move on your... or we can just. Oh no! Oh no! I'm not letting you run away from this. Works when I'm, you're looking I'm down asking you, using what, straight line. what will you see when you look through that theodolite? When you look through the telescope, there's a horizontal line in there. What will you see if the Earth is flat in relation to the horizon? There'll be some sort of uh, height to that. But it's going to be a height we can measure over a flat plane. You didn't really so answer. So if you're you looking, kinda, if you're you looking at there. the horizon, you kind of you kind of running away a little bit from that. I, what? I just like banging my head. Up what against the are you I going like... to see if the Earth is flat when you look through the theodolite? You're going to be measuring. Yep. A straight line. Okay, straight line from you perpendicular from the zenith. to whatever yep. your uh, target is centered on. Yes. Okay. So so you turn it from you turn it ninety from zenith. What are you gonna see? Flat Earth. Where where will the horizon uh, be in relation to the the horizontal line in the theodolite telescope? Where? MC Tan, this is done. Oh, you are done. It's been nice. You are done. Yes. Right there, I posted I mean, the picture. We're, we're playing this, but that. I feel like it's pretty obvious. Look at that picture. At this point. There's a theodolite. You're the one that wanted a theodolite. There it is. So you got an elevation over a flat plane. You measured it using a straight line to the horizon. Count for the elevation. It's going to be a direct measurement of the Earth's surface. It's going to be used straight lines. There you go. Yeah, but you know what? And are we we gonna we have a it we have a deviation? Again? We have a deviation from the horizontal. You said was zero, but that's not zero. That's more than zero. Uh oh. You're not at the the shoreline. You're not. You're at an elevation much higher. 
oh did, and so how much should it be at different what's the formula for flat earth so if we're going to be measuring the, the the shape of the earth presumably we'd want to do it near the surface of it right yeah that is not at some surface. mountain or like 30 40 feet above the surface of well, it, right you, you, we can so that would we be can, kind of counterintuitive we can because because we can measure the deviation we can do the math on that and figure out what the deviation is so what should the deviation be is there a formula for flat earth so we can verify that your claim you asked me how we can measure it i told you how we can measure it i did measure I it really it's right there on screen and all that stuff so. I, okay no no formulas then okay right there on screen it is what there it is, is right? a deviation from horizontal it's right there on the screen did you see it? I don't see it. I'll post it. It could again. be the com it could be the lens itself. Could be, oh, could it could be the be, compression or the could rendering. Be, of, could be you're the one that that trusted you're asking the Seattle lights. This clearly edited picture with text all over you're it. You're the one that hasn't claimed. been compressed or rendered by you're any the one uh, that, oh, software. Run, move those goalposts when I show exactly what you wanted, and the okay, deviation listen, listen. is not zero. Uh -oh. MC two. You right. got you so got if you smack think that down. you're seeing earth curvature that's your and that, claim if you think that you're seeing earth curvature your radius is completely fucked <laughs> oh, oh you're living oh, on planet oh, pluto did you do the math you think earth curvature did, you, looks like. did you do the math i don't need to do the math you certainly you do just you just made a claim a little bit of you just made the claim that the radius is wrong if that's earth curvature you we're living on the moon know. man i don't know what to tell you tell don't you. but you don't know the the vertical drop the angular drop there you don't know what I'm looking at right now because you you're just you're just looking for excuses. You're the one that said I want to see a theodolite use a theodolite to measure that there's no deviation from horizontal. I'm showing you a deviation from horizontal and then you run away and you're like, no, "Oh, you're showing it's me the compression. wrong radius." You're showing me a rendered compression oh, edited oh. photo. Oh, there it's got you text go. on There's it. There's your claim. Uh, dude, when you look down at the oh, are there texts on it? The, of no. course, the, yeah. The, when you upload it to your computer, is it going to be the compressed? Straws, the straws have all been grasped. I don't know what you did to this, there's, but it's there's clearly manipulated. No more, there's no so, more straws. If, why if, would you be deceptive about you have, it? You have completely failed. You, you're the one that said <laughs> that the horizon does uh the, the it does not deviate from horizontal and we, that you okay. should use a theodolite i use a theodolite and look at that you got screwed can we see 360 degrees around us that, if change we're the topic anywhere? change the topic no we're gonna see a oh, circumference you're changing around the topic because right? you got smacked we're in the center of that circle there's gonna and, that circumference here I'll, and 360 I'll degrees is this. gonna give you this. the impression of a circle we just can spin in, in a case circle. not just Earth in case like just the, in case that there's some error in that uh, theodolite, maybe it's not properly aligned. What you do is you flip the telescope the other way and read it in the other face and you get 270 degrees instead of 90. And oh, no, it still doesn't work. It's still oh no, if we spin in a circle, we'll have a 360 degree. Oh, my so, goodness. And it always drops. That's got to be difficult. Your claim, you're running from your claim. I love that you have to run from your claim. The deviation doesn't work for you you said there's no deviation i showed you deviation you showed me a clearly edited photo oh. the photo literally has text okay. on it it's well, then been show, compressed then show if the you measurement don't want to concede that i don't think show, you're honest show the measurement you're being deceptive show the measurement to the contrary go ahead you're the there's one that no said, measurement in that you said you said there you have empirical evidence where is your empirical evidence let's see it i brought empirical evidence you brought nothing you brought me an edited compressed photo with text well, on it. Well, show me the difference then. Show me where it's the wrong. The difference is at any show other me what's photo wrong. in the chat that you can see where there is no deviation from oh, that I, horizontal. Where, where is it? Come on. Where's, where's the, evidence. the measurement? Scroll around where, to the chat. You'll find a bunch of evidence. Oh, oh, you don't have it. Got it. You don't have uh, it's it. It's posted you in need, chat. You need to tag. You need to tag somebody in. Is that it? Because you got you no. got smacked around. You, the you evidence a claim. is there. You said for use you a theodolite. This is a theodolite. You don't like the you theodolite. You can use a theodolite. Yeah. I, oh, absolutely. And right there, that's what it is. When you so. look down at theodolite, you're using straight line measurements, right? There you From go. you to the center now, point there of is, that optic. Is. There is the actual measurement. I've it's, been saying that. I said that. that 15 minutes ago. There is the actual angular dip of the horizon. Uh oh. Now, does that match the radius of the Earth? In fact, it does match the radius of the earth when you do the math so your claim that it doesn't match the radius also doesn't work because you can do that particular i can send you to uh everybody 
Here you go. Here's all of the math. Go ahead. Find the errors in it. Find the theodolite. In your own spare time there, Sin Cleanser. In your own embarrassment. Go go lick your wounds. Hey, let me the, ask you, MC Tune. If I went on a different day, do we will we get different measurements? Absolutely. What if we waited a couple would, hours yes. and we made and you the know same what, measurement? And you know what you will not get? Yeah, we get a difference. You know what you won't get? You won't get the horizon being above the center. Oopsie. I want you to concede right now, MC Tune. Absolutely if you not. Went you on got a different destroyed. Day, you'd get different You got destroyed. Right? You're the one that said. <laughs> oh, wow. You said we can control for refraction, which we certainly can. Uh, you're going to need a big notebook, man. Yep. So, because you're gonna thank have a you lot of different measurements <laughs> for destroying flat Earth again, Sin Cleanser. You have done you have done flat Earth uh, a great disservice. I'll give a second you your way time. out. Absolutely. You worked hard for your way out. You got you. you got beat down again. So, Destroyed. thank you for that. All right. Utterly humiliated. Yes, you were. Well, it's, I mean, you couldn't handle Demox, so I figured uh, we'd put put you in the right. there. All right, guys. So, are you uh, McToon? Are you open up for Q and As? I'll give a Are few you willing minutes. To? Yeah, yeah. Not not a dog pile. I'm, I don't do dog There's piles. There's too many people. No dog, no dog pile, and I'll make sure. One, I just want to ask time. a specific question. Sure. I just want to ask a specific question. Uh, how tall is the tripod that the Adelite's on? Uh, about five feet. Is that above main sea level? That particular theodolite is, in fact, more than uh, that. It's not right at the ocean. The elevation is 21.986 meters. That's fantastic. Is it uh, above main sea level? 21.986 meters above mean sea level, yes. Nice. So is the uh, theodolite through the scope producing its own field of view that will be above the apparent horizon because it's producing its own field? It doesn't produce a field. It doesn't produce, a, it doesn't what, establish what? a horizontal it through does the crosshairs? It absolutely does establish a horizontal, yes. That's what that 90 is. And it's above main sea level, right? Yeah. There you go. Did you know that Theodolite's auto levels transits are not made to uh, measure Earth's curvature, but only elevation change at sh short distances, That's roughly wrong. about 1,500 feet? That's completely wrong. Please cite your evidence for that. All right. Yeah. I've heard that before. I did my own research. I will send right here in chat links to the different uh, models of Theodolite's. That have the the um, what they're certified to do. Total stations have uh, a distance measuring. They have laser range finders. Those have a particular range, but the angle measurements are not part of that. So, anybody else? No. Okay. Hey, I think he's finding that information, McToon. Okay. Just give us a second. All right. Well, I already posted. I already posted the the users' manuals for several different theodolites. So, uh... <laughs> hey, MC. Yes. Just out of curiosity, uh, I've often heard that auto levels are only good for 100 feet or 300 feet something like that what what makes it why are they no longer good to find level yeah it's, at it's say a, four or yeah. 500 feet it's a curious thing yeah yeah why is that are you conceding to the fact that uh you can they're only uh made to measure uh Short distances? Not at all. There, there is no nope. distance limitation of on a theodolite measuring angles at all. Well, I was told by problem. a surveyor they're roughly about. You can get roughly two miles. Was he incorrect on his uh, statement? I uh, just show me where in the user manual that it is limited to a certain sure. distance. See, the problem you run into with auto levels is they are designed specifically for building purposes to find a level. Correct. All right. And that only is good for a couple of hundred feet because after that, the curvature of the earth screws that level up. You have a horizontal, but you don't have the same elevation. You have a curvature that you, ha that you have to take into no. account. 
No, under you're one, above. Under one to 300 feet, that curvature doesn't make any difference. No, you're on a tripod that he said is five feet. You're producing your own field of it's view. 21 that meters. That is above. 21 that's meters, That's above, yes. but it's above main sea level. Yeah. So when you're trying to do observation across the water, they're not designed for that. Certainly. They All right. All right. I'll no, tell you what. MC, let's open, let's open this up to a simple question. I'm six feet, two inches tall. If you have an auto level that is six feet, two inches above lake level, and both of us are dipping our toes in the lake, and you look through that auto level, what will you see? I will see the horizon not coming up to the horizontal line in the auto level. Will you see my head? If I'm, oh, if I'm, if a, I'm on the other side of the lake? Yeah, if I'm no. a mile or two away. Will no, you see your my head, head will be significantly below the horizontal. All right. Anybody out there? Of course think I will. You'd be able to see me. I didn't think so. I'm sorry. I'm, I actually missed the question. Would you? Would you say, Bob? All right. If MC has an auto level that is exactly six feet above the water level of a lake. Mm -hmm. I'm six foot two and I'm standing uh, a mile or two away at the other end of the lake with my feet in the water. And he looks through that auto level. Will he see me? Will he see my head? What distance are we working with here? How far two are you miles. again? Two miles? Yeah. I'm six foot two. Well, I, will my head looking be through above, at or above his cross no. at or above his crosshairs? Uh, unfortunately, um, it just depends on the calibration and and, uh, and the equipment you're using. <laughs> Unfortunately, so roughly three miles is seventy two inches of drop. Correct, Bob? I don't know, but let's just say for you let's don't know? Just say for no, I don't uh, really. I didn't do the math, and I'm not going to. Let's just say for <laughs> for uh, example that you're correct. So it would be seventy two inches of drop. Would you see yes, my head? Angular size change due to perspective. That's drop. The theodolite yeah. drop is, is above different. main sea level. It is producing its own <laughs> field of view oh, horizontally. It's drop. All right. Above on the a earth. Flat plane. Above the earth. All right. On a flat plane. It's not plane. on the earth. It's above it. On a flat plane with the auto level at six feet. As you look out on that line that the auto level forms with its crosshair. Is there any point on that line on a flat earth that would be more or less than six feet? The answer is no. <laughs> well, no, it's not. A, you know, it's a, it's a simple question. The answer is no. However, if you, look, if you look across the lake at me, you're going to see 72 inches above my head. You're not going to see my head. You know why? Yeah, because you're producing your own field of view that's above sea level. Curved. No, it's above <laughs> sea level. You have your you're establishing your own horizon <laughs> above the earth. Well, that's, that's on a, a tripod. That's a mathematical why don't you take claim. The, why don't you look? That's why don't you take the, the theater the light? Show the take it off the tripod and then put it on the uh, ground. Then do it that way. <laughs> lay it in the water. <laughs> yeah, lay it close to the water. Yes. Does it matter what color to the shirt surface, I'm wearing? Where it's not above. <laughs> it Does it matter what color shirt I'm wearing? How about the season of the year? Here we go. Is Circular reasoning. Different, is it different uh, in the winter or the summer? So you're saying what I if, can't establish my own what if my dog is above me? the earth? What if my dog is with me? Or wait, what, wait, what wait, 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 wait. So you're saying I can't establish a horizontal above the earth? When did I say that? I'm asking you. When did I say it? I'm asking you. Okay. Well, we're at the theodolite. If you had it set at six feet, you would have a horizontal at six feet based on 90 degrees from your zenith. And quite frankly, at two miles, say, my six foot body will be 72 inches below that. that no, that, that would be three miles. You got the math wrong, Bob. Well, then let's two go miles is not miles. 72 on your model. You got it wrong. Go back, study your own model. I didn't, I didn't do the math. So, I, I, I want to ask you again. Can you establish a horizontal above the earth? Of course. 
Will the apparent horizon with that line appear below that horizontal? Yes, and stop with the slow talk. There you go. There you go. Explains the theodolite on a tripod. No, it doesn't. (laughs) That destroys his whole image right there. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't (laughs) explain why you can't see me. Did you put the theodolite? Did you put the the apparatus on the uh, main sea level? The straws. The straws are gone, man. I know. The straws are gone. I love when they have to do this. Yeah, you know they actually. You guys are spiraling. They they never actually looked at the video where I did this, right? You guys are spiraling. No, of course not. It's yeah. (laughs) Go ahead. That has destroyed both of you. (laughs) Oh, Oh, how's that chess game going there, Mister Pigeon? Uh, All right, where is where is the the user manual that states how uh, how far away the uh, theodolite can uh, measure things? Go ahead. Where is that? Did you find that yet? Did you find the thing he just asked you to look for? <laughs> Was well, his claim. So I have it ready right there. I just posted it in chat again. I have my stuff ready because I did my own research. Where is the uh, the statement from the manufacturer that it can only measure angles within a certain distance range? You got that? Uh, yeah, that's my own website. Yes, it is my own website. I collect information there, and then when you go to my website, you can only you can actually download the PDF that is the owner's manual for that particular theodolite, whichever one you're you're, you're thinking can only do so much. But okay, so MC Tune, do you think the limitations of these optics are due to what you would call atmospheric effects, which really are just the effects of the medium of the air? The, the, you don't think that has anything to do with it, maybe? It, it Well, if you can see it, you can measure wild, angles. Yes. If you can see it, you can measure angles. Yeah, okay, so you're seeing through a medium that has yes. not only pressure differentials, but also the angle of light entering that medium. Yes. All these different things that you don't think that's part of the reasoning why there's limitations. It's to part it. of it, absolutely. And, I mean, and as, on, we, <laughs> as we established before, we can control for those variables. Yeah, They've with been mathematical done. equations that are no, presuppositional with, with to your With measurements, globe. measurements. I'll I'll post it again since since uh, you don't you, you didn't don't measure like, Earth curvature with any of these devices. I'm sorry. I'm talking about the measurements of the effects of refraction. I'll grab it. Hold on, right here. There it is. There is the measurements of the effects of refraction in the atmosphere. Okay, so show us the measurement of any. Uh, show us the measurement of. Earth is life's little po- po- post here. I, Show I, us the measurements claim. of the pressure, the angle of the sun, all these different variables. You don't have any of the data for any of these images. Yeah, I, I, you can't make any I, of the it's claims. It's not my claim. Things. So I don't know why you got yeah, it. It's my not claim your claim on, because you know full claim. well you can't actually provide the data for any of these I, optical effects. If, if I were to bring it up in a debate, I would be prepared. Well, you're not prepared, so you're trying to pass this I'm off as if it is. I'm absolutely prepared. Approved. I'm so prepared that Don's uh, claim I was prepared for and posted it again. The, the owner's manual for theodolites that does not say anywhere that you cannot measure angles past a certain distance. Hey, what's the maximum amount of refraction you'll get shore to shore? Shore to shore. Wow, that's not really precise. All right, on the, on the, bla- on the black swan, how much refraction? would be required to give you that image let's see the measurements let's see the pressure the angle of the sun no the just tell me how much let's refraction you would need give me the data bob let's see the data i don't need to you don't I'm need to have the data to make an accurate measurement i'm asking you specifically what is the maximum refraction you can see on earth short to short about half a degree right Can you show me a, a measurement of refraction that's more than half a degree? Just looking out at the horizon? I don't know what short ashore means. That's that's means nothing to me. What is short ashore? All right. How about how about let's just make it easy for you then so it's a, you know you can understand it. What is short ashore mean? Swan, What's the distance of that? The black swan was taken at a one foot elevation. How much refraction would be required? in order for us to see what we see in the black swan how much increased refraction well in the black swan we're not seeing shore to shore for one you're seeing how much refraction well we'd have to have more data okay well how much would it be 
well, the if maximum we had the data, then we find. could make a, an estimation, I think, right? Yeah, half a degree. So do you have the data for it? Yeah, I've done it. Now, you did every different pressure measurement from your No, I measured the, the amount the, of refraction that you would have to have in order to see that. Oh, man. You yeah, made a calculation a based on a presupposition, you mean? All right. It's about half a degree of refraction would be required. That's a baseless claim that I know you can't validate because you don't have the data. I already did it. So you didn't do any of the data. Okay, I'll, so put, it, so I'll put it in from how much refraction oil rigs. I'll put it in the would chat Earth, again. There it is. It's in the chat how again. How much refraction would Earth is life have to have in order to see that high on a building from the shore? He's up what seven well, stories? Well, if we have a flat baseline, which we should presume yeah. if we're going to prove flat Earth, we have a flat baseline, which the optical effects that we see in this image, I don't know, there's a couple stories worth of refraction bending the light. I would say that's a perfect, actually, because MC Toon didn't want to do it. I would say, thank you, Earth is Life. This is a great example of sinking refraction. <laughs> oh, excellent. So what yeah. would sinking we refraction can account for that by seeing it's not actually sinking in the water. What, would, what conditions? Can account no, hang on, hang on. You said sinking refraction. Under what conditions? First of all, which way would the under light be bending? Under these conditions, the one that we see it in. Which way First would of light all, bend? Under, yeah. under, under what conditions would you have sinking refraction? In under other words, light bending Under these conditions, the one in the photo that shows it. And what are those? The, well, you'd have to ask Earth is life. No, what your claim? conditions are required for you to have sinking refraction? I'm saying that the, the buildings are clearly, they look to be sinking. Where is Now, where that is must the be an optical air, effect formally identified air? as sinking refraction. Where's the warm air and where's the cold air in order to get sinking refraction? I don't have the measurements for that. I'm pretty okay. sure Earth is you, you have no have the clue, do you? So, so don't make the claim yeah. Nobody if you here have no idea. Because nobody's done the measurements for it. Oh, we, I could talk about it all day long. I can tell I you can what... I can too, and I know what, you don't here, have let's, the measurements Let's make it easy. So we can just guess. Let's make it easy. MC, in order for light to curve upward... Yes. Where would the hot? Where would the warm air have to be, and where would the cold air have to be? Warm what conditions air, would require that? Yeah, warm air would be high, and cold air would be. Um, as the other way around. You got warm air low, cold air high, which which is very unstable. It doesn't like to do that. Convection will mix it. See how easy that was, and yeah. that is the correct answer. Thank you. Wow, well, if we can both agree on a couple of presuppositions, then we'll be. That's uh, not a presupposition. That's on our way law. here. You don't like Snell's law? Go ahead and show the disproof of it, because there's well, you, you plenty have a of empirical law. and plenty of empirical evidence for Snell's law. <laughs> if so Snell's show us law, the formula it's... for you have the formula that you accounted for in this image of Snell's law and every other optical effect, no, no, including no, the pressure, just, the angle just, of the sun, the temperature, no, and all that. No, no, you want to provide that for us because I love the, hearing the data. It was just the the basic part. What necessary conditions are there? For sinking to happen, the answer is warm air near the ground, cold air up high. That's simple. And then you're like, that's just a presupposition. Well, Sorry, it looks like not. it's during the middle of the day, which we could presume is going to be when the sun is at its uh, highest point. Uh huh. I mean, this isn't sometime during and the night. The water, so yeah, that looks like it fits all. It checks and the, the boxes. water is cold and the air is warm. So you're going to have cold how did you air determine down. That? You're going to have cold. How did you determine that water is colder than air? How did you determine that uh, that water is cold? Anybody's ever been swimming How at a lake or the ocean? Of this stuff? <laughs> That's the ocean. The temperature of the I ocean. Don't know if you've been to the beach, but you can. Uh, it's, it is. Right, straws wanna, are wanna... gone. The straws are gone. Yeah. All right, Don. Did you get? Did you get that uh, that documentation? No, I can't find it. I'm gonna I... keep looking for it. When I do look, when I send it do to come me. across yes. it, I will send it to you. I want to uh, reel it back on uh, a claim you made about radar uh, giving you the distance to the sun. Yes. Now, you're aware that the surface of the sun is a black body, right? That is not correct. I'm going to post this in the chat. I want you to look at all these. These are the citations. Um, I have one from, let me pull it up real quick. Uh, okay, the energy from the sun. Give me a second. Some flat earth hours, real flat earth hours. All right, here's the figure right comparisons, uh, emission curves. If you look at those citations that I have in the chat, yes, the surface of the sun is a black body. You know what a black body is? I do, but it's not a perfect black body. 
Yes, because it's the surface. Well, then they claim it's gaseous. So, of course, it won't be, uh, n- it'll be nearly perfect is what they claim. Uh, but uh, do you know what a black body is? Wait, let, let me make this, I, mean, just, I just want to be clear. This citation here, the energy from the sun, ACS Climate Science Toolkit, energy balance, that one? Yeah. Okay, that one where it's talking about the distance to the sun matching what I said? Uh, do you know what a black body is? Okay, hold on a second. I just want to make sure that your citation here, I'll just put a little screenshot there. Your citation says that the uh, distance to the sun from the earth is 150 million kilometers. That is great. That's it's your, called a hostile witness. It's called a hostile cit- witness. It's your citation. I'm using, yes. It, uh, right. It's called a hostile your witness. Citation. Do you know what a black You're body is? You're not in court, Don. <laughs> do you know what a black body is? I do. It's not a perfect black body. Okay. But do you know what a black body, what does a black body do to it, radar? It a black body it abs- a black body it absorbs all electromagnetic frequencies yeah, right but it's not a black, perfect black body how long does uh it absorb and how, uh, how long able all to day. send back signal all day every day it doesn't absorb it perfectly though oh so how long do we calculate that how long the variable yes you mean how, how long, long should we calculate that that doesn't make sense uh what arc seconds should we calculate that for that doesn't make any sense either you know, an arc second is a measurement of angle, not time. Yes. Right? How long would it take to come uh, travel back? How, how long would it take? Uh, just under a thousand seconds is how long it takes to go uh, both directions. Yes. So how do we know that for a fact that it's absorbing? Uh, what's the duration of the absorption of the black body? The duration. Yes. What, what, that doesn't make any sense. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to make sense when he asks these questions. I, I don't. Don, are you trying to make the argument that it receives the radar beam, it holds it for some period of time, and then fires it back? Yes. Okay, that's oh, wow. stupid. Yep, that is. That's ridiculous. Why would you say that? Why would you think that? That's not because even how black that's bodies how, absorb all electromagnetic frequencies. But it's not a perfect black body. What is a perfect? And that's black not body? how it works. A perfect black body would absorb 100%, but the sun is not a perfect black body. So, I mean, it, um, but I can, I can show you, uh, I'll give you right here, because people have discussed this exact thing. So there you go. There is, there is a, a paper discussing the plasma and how it bounces back the um, x-rays. Now, here's how you can actually confirm that your black body claim is wrong. They sent a specific pattern to the sun. They received that specific pattern back. They did not receive that pattern when they pointed away from the sun. They only received that pattern when they pointed towards the sun. That's confirmation that your black body claim is not correct. You know, there's another problem with it too, Don. Are you You aware that the sun uh, shoots up water? MC's got radar data that gives us a distance to the sun. We have the transit of Venus that gives us a distance to the sun. We have the distance by radar from the Earth to the moon, which gives us a distance to the sun. All of them come back to exactly the same distance within a margin of error. How do you explain that, Don? Thank you. Well, the explanation would be what is between the Earth and the Sun. That's not an explanation. That's just a what ifism. Yeah, that is a what if. Yeah, like that's what also, is between the Earth and the also, Sun? Because uh, the claim, the mainstream order, claim, is relevant. that the Sun is shooting out water. All right, but that's would also would that slow down and speed back up light? Why is it a, doesn't depend on what is between us and the Sun? Yes, to measure the distance from us to the Moon. It doesn't matter what distance it is. For the transit of Venus, it doesn't matter, or not what distance, but well, what's we're talking about radar it. specifically. No, we're talking about all of them because they all agree with each other. What's wrong with the radar? Radar is a, is a frequency of light. No, it's not. No, it really isn't. You going on that one too? Don't listen. Radar to is a frequency of light. 
there's actually a measured that, that oscillation is, in that frequency. Yeah, man, don't go that way. Bandwidth yes. of yeah. the electromagnetic you're just, spectrum. You're just shooting yourself in the foot again. Oh, yeah. no, no, that's why you guys hard. You guys cope with this one. <laughs> that's all you can do is cope with that one. You guys don't think it's light. It's measurable, right. verifiable, well, testable, repeatable. Give, me, give a citation then. So, I'm going to do it right now. It's from <laughs> NASA.gov, from your own source. <laughs> that radar is light? Radar is absolutely light. No, it's not. You, you want to? Okay, we can this. actually you keep nip going. that one in the you keep real going. Quick. You're destroying Let flat me give earth. you keep a going. solid uh, picture you're going to hand wave. Give me a sec. This is genius. So if you pull that up right there, the electromagnetic spectrum. Right here, EMF spectrum is a range oh of gosh. type of EM you shot radiation. In the foot again. So radar is not radio waves. It's not frequency. Radar is radio waves. So would you uh, like to pull up that citation right there? I got it on the screen right now. I'm looking at it. Yep. That is not a spectrum of light or electromagnetic frequencies. It is a, the it is the electromagnetic uh, spectrum. The middle part where it's got that little rainbow that is light <laughs> okay you know, so you gave me the source light. and it destroyed you again dude you neither of you have feet left you just keep shooting them off you just got bloody nubs <laughs> okay so uh, uh visible, frequency of our what eyes detect frequency visible of what, light our eyes frequency detect visible of what? light light bulbs fireflies and stars all emit Wave visible light of what your bandwidth of what? citation Photons? You're gonna say photons? Your own citation. My goodness. You want to say photons? Bloody nubs. That's all you got. All right. What else you got here? This is great. <laughs> What's wrong with the bouncing radar off of the sun? Go ahead. Well, we actually do have a pretty big panel, and we've kind of oh, kind run of away from muted. that. Run! No, I mean you seem to you misunderstand. You seem to actually. Your I don't know. Own you, citation destroyed MC you. Tune, did you not debunk yourself when you said radio waves are photons? No, I did you not. You did. It's recorded. radio waves are photons. We're gonna clip it. Don't worry right, about it. I'm gonna open the floor up to data. Rody, uh, radio got waves more information than I are have. photons. You said no radio doubt. waves are made of photons. Yes, photons are light. No, I asked you light is photons. Hey, 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 MC Tune, to tune and, and MC Tune and Bob, I've got a question for you. You're telling me that radar isn't uh, a wavelength of light, correct? Oh my gosh. Is that correct? Is you, you're going to go with that statement, are you? Yes, 100%, according to Don Citation. Okay, so so if that's not if that's true, why is it a guy in a courtroom used the Rayleigh criterion to beat a speeding ticket because a radar ticket he used the radar criterion to prove that the radar and the length of the radar was incapable of discerning the object between two different vehicles at a distance. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> you think the Rayleigh criterion? It applies to all. It applies to all. Fake laugh. It applies to all. Fake laugh. It applies to all. Did you hear their fake laugh? Yeah, you said that. It applies Buddy, to all electromagnetic. The Rayleigh criterion. All electromagnetic. The Rayleigh criterion. Spectrum. The Rayleigh criterion is a diffraction. <laughs> Of light. No. Correct. Diffraction of electromagnetic waves. Oh my god. Okay, gosh. so radar is not light then, right? Correct. Is that what you're saying? Correct. It is then not. Then why would you, you use the Rayleigh right. criterion for it? Because the Rayleigh criterion is not just for light, it's for electromagnetic oh, radiation okay. of all frequencies. So so oh my gosh. if you're looking at the wavelength of light <laughs> which radar uses <laughs> And you have a limitation to that no, wavelength of light. No, no. and you can Stop calculate the diffraction light. limit to it. <laughs> It's invisible oh, light, dude. What's just, the difference? Visible just, or invisible light? You, What's you the difference? you volunteering to shoot off your feet, too? Oh, bloody What's nubs. What's the difference between visible or invisible light? What's the difference? Oh, my gosh. It's based on a spectrum nope. of visibility, correct? Oh, do, do keep, I'll put it up again. I'll put it up again. There it is. There it is, everybody. Don yeah. Citation. So, these, these, so, Don so radar citation, is not using radar is not using invisible light. Is that correct? Radar uses is photons. Yes, it's photons. Oh it's not gosh. invisible light then. It's not invisible light then. It is not. 
Invisible light. Nobody okay. calls it invisible so why, light. Why would, you, why would you use a ray like Rayleigh ray, ray criterion? I said it already. In this example, then. I feel, just listen. I'll say it again. Rayleigh yeah, criterion. You guys, you guys are idiots. No, you need to listen. The Rayleigh criterion ray, is used okay, based on a not, wavelength. That of, wavelength. Of, that wavelength is either visible or invisible. Electromagnetic. Okay? But it's electromagnetic. still. It's, so light is. Doesn't matter. Visible light or invisible light oh is electromagnetic, gosh. is it not? Oh my gosh. Does it matter? Uh, Does it matter between invisible and visible? It's still electromagnetic, correct? Yes, it is. Good job. It's but it's, There you go, buddy. Well yep. done. Well Don's, done. You just Don's proved my point. Thank you kindly. citation right there, right in the middle has visible light in, in the middle. In a courthouse, in a courthouse MC tune, uh -huh. the Rayleigh criterion was used as an example to show the wavelength yes, of yes, light for the exactly. radar gun no, was no, incapable of light. determining the, the Listen, wavelength buddy. Of the, the radar of gun the uses magnetic invisible spectrum. light no my yeah, gosh yeah, it's Keep still going. invisible light Keep going what an idiot absolute idiot study physics before talking Seen so what is the rayleigh light. criterion it is it applies what does it to, calculate it applies to all electromagnetic spectrum yeah it's based on the size of an aperture yes and the distance of that wavelength of light that goes yes. through that aperture correct not the distance so whether it's electromagnetic frequency if you want to use a an adjective to describe it yeah. it's still a it's still the fundamental spectrum of light, correct? No, no, wrong. I'm sorry? Wrong again. So visible light is not an electromagnetic frequency. Wrong again. So visible light is not electromagnetic frequency. Wrong again. How am I wrong? All right. If Don't say I'm wrong. If how, tell listen, me how I'm wrong. I will be glad to, but you need to not talk over me. I'm will not you, talking over you. You keep you interrupting. Commit, you keep laughing right, yeah, like a monkey. Have to moderate this a little will bit, you commit so to let me yeah, explain moderate. the entire thing? Go ahead, Tune. All right. Electromagnetic spectrum is a wide range from uh, gamma rays to X rays to ultraviolet light to visible light to infrared to things like uh, microwave ovens and then lower frequencies like what aircraft. Yeah, okay. Uh, we, are, we all oh, get I, that. I'm buddy. sorry. I we all trying. understand that. Okay, hang on. Uh, let him yeah, finish. We all get let that. Him finish, what, happens, what happens? What happens? What makes it special between visible and invisible? It's still an electromagnetic, an electromagnetic frequency, correct? And it's still labeled and listed under a, vis, uh, under a spectrum of frequency, correct? Can we get somebody that won't interrupt me to step forward and talk? Yeah, MC2, and you're full of shit. Go right ahead. All right. Thank you, Flatter Zeta. I mean, I think... When, okay, so when you say infrared, you say infrared light, right? Ultraviolet light. Yes. These aren't in the visible spectrum, but you would formally address them as light, but somehow for the, you're just painstakingly trying not to give us... Uh, it's Don's own right citation. Answer. Don's own citation. I'll put it... I'll link it in the chat again. Everybody can look at Don's own citation. But dude, MC Tune, this is bad. If you're going to say it ultraviolet isn't light, infrared isn't light. I didn't say that. Only the visible spectrum is light. I didn't say there that. There is Here. invisible seen and unseen light, my friend. There you go. So I, I, would, I will explain it again if I could just not get interrupted. So radar think? uses a light that's not visible to the human eye, but it is Wrong. a... It is Wrong. a process described using the Rayleigh criterion. Correct. Which uses a wavelength of light, my no. friend. Rayleigh criterion uses a wavelength of electromagnetic field, of which sure. light is a small it's portion. Either visible or invisible, oh, because it's okay. ba fundamentally based on an aperture size. This is the radar gun. So listen, in a courthouse, a gentleman used and got off of a ticket by using the Rayleigh criterion to calculate the maximum resolvable detail of this radar gun. Oh Do you understand gosh. that? Don shot himself in the foot again. Oh my gosh, Don, stop it. You're hurting yourself. <laughs> yeah, you just hurt yourself, dude. The electromagnetic frequency doesn't stop at your feelings. Oh my the gosh. Rayleigh criterion you shows you, you that it is calculable and measurable. Doesn't matter if it's visible or invisible or not. Okay? Oh, you guys are so good. So good at this. <laughs> We are very much. Thank you, You're Kyle. You're outmatched, MC Tim. <laughs> oh my God! About time you actually come to real flat earthers and stuff. You're oh laughing gosh. of Whatever your laugh. You your nervous laughter just shows you how ignorant and how much you're paid to be here and how much of a fool you are to do what you're doing. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you very much for laughing. Even I went ahead and All put right, up the definition the of back light. Insults a little bit. <laughs> I went ahead and put up the definition of light to help you out there, man.
Oh my gosh, you're so stupid. Why do you read the first one? You're for actually, us? I can't believe how yeah, stupid read, you all read are. Read it off, Bob. Why, you why guys don't you read it off, Bob? are amazingly read it off, Bob. stupid. MC Tune is read it broken. Off, Bob. Oh. He's broken officially. <laughs> read it off, Bob. He's never talked to actual flat earthers, I don't think. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> So, Tone, is this wrong right here? Uh, light travels in waves. That's much correct. Much like waves you That's... find in oceans, a wave light has several basic properties that describe it. Hang on, that got pulled up. One, fr one is frequency, which counts the number of waves that pass by a given point in one second. Another is a wavelength, the dis distance from the peak of one wave to the peak of the next. The these properties are closely and uh, adversely related. The longer the frequency, the smaller the wavelength, and vice versa. A third energy, which is similar to frequency, in that the higher the frequency of the light wave, the more energy it carries. Okay. And? So, invisible, invisible light. Electromagnetic frequency is not light. Right. I, I will. I'm happy to explain it to you. But you have to not interrupt me. Go ahead. Floor's yours. Okay. If I get interrupted, the topic is closed. Okay? I already went over the different arbitrary categories. They're just arbitrary. That's it. Arbitrary categories of light, uh, of, electromagnetic, of the electromagnetic spe uh, spectrum. They are all photons. All of the electromagnetic uh, spectrum is photons moving. They are not all light. Light is photons. Not all photons are light. Since the Rayleigh criterion applies to electromagnetic waves, you can use it for uh, areas other than invisible just, light. Other than just in light, you can use it for. You can use it for. You can I'm use sorry, it for right. invisible light. Correct. Hang, hang on. That's why they use it for the no, radar, no, no. right? I'm done. Data, let them finish. I'm done. Got interrupted again. Well, so that topic's closed. Out. That topic's if you closed. Need a way out, MC10, I that's will right. uh, look. I was educating there were, you. There were people interrupting. That's fine. It's yep. there. I I was educating you, and happy to do <laughs> it. But you guys are too rude to allow me to do it. So no, right. we went, we didn't want dogpiling, and I feel like yep. There All right, a couple people we took off me. Anything else, you guys? Uh, I'll give you three more minutes. How about that? Well, that about covers it, MC10. I, it was nice having you here. We have a, as you can see, a a great wide round table of flat earthers that are, you know, itching to shoot their shot with well, you. I feel like you kind of made some missteps, send me a but DM. They know. Of course, you would. You think live that, and but... you learn, but I feel like it was, you know, good stuff either way. Yes, uh, foolish. Go ahead, foolish. foolish floor okay, George. Um, I, again, I've been just doing a little bit of research on the riding criteria and radar, and I wouldn't run down that route. There's a lot of problems. That's why they use what's called the Fourier method um, for actually determining resolvable size. The Rayleigh criterion is very inconsistent when it comes to radar. And the thing is, courts sometimes accept stupid things because they're not kind of specialists in this area. That would be the two things I'd say. Just having to be listening. Very good. I like that. Very so interesting. What, what's up with this post where a uh, central bear screenshot, it says other types of light include radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, ultraviolet rays, x-rays, and gamma rays. Why are they calling it light then? That's from HubbleSite.org, the electromagnetic... Why are they doing that, MC Tune? Why know. are they calling it light? It's not light. Sorry. Well, it's... You tell them that. Okay. He's okay. fighting HubbleSite.org. Okay. Got it. I think that about wraps it up. Um, you if certainly MC10, have been, yes. Unless you want to cover anything else. Like I said, we love it having you here, I guess. Anybody that's interested, I do uh, debates every Tuesday. And if people can do a formal debate... On topics other than just Flat Earth, I would be happy to um, host it on the Tune Show, which is on Saturday nights. Um, other than Flat Earth, I, any, anything you're interested in. Do you do you debate, do you talk about your Christianity at all anymore? Or uh, I don't generally, I don't debate that. You don't debate? So, well, that's that's so, a good thing, maybe. But uh, the tune... Tune is a, a quick bit of trivia. Do you know who actually came up with the Riley criteria? Uh, 
I, my, I could only guess, and I would guess that at the name of it, but I can't say no. Guy called William Scott, who was the third Lord of Riley. Hmm. Interesting. It's <laughs> sounds like a Jesuit. Oh. Yeah. No, he wasn't. He was um, a British landowner who was a bit of a dilettante and a bit of a Renaissance man. He liked um, a lot of science. He liked a lot of history. He liked a lot of philosophy. Hence, he contributed in many areas and a bit of a mathematician as well. Cool. But I actually like the fact that, you know, there are people that contribute to society rather than just sort of like try and put it down and cast shade on it without knowing what it is. You feel me? I do. I feel you. Well, Foolish, thank you for your uh, historical insights. You've always been one for the books. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, other McToon. than that, Apocryphon, yeah, hello, go ahead. Hey, McToon, um, hey, I just want to thank everybody also, um, not only, you know, in your chat over there, um, on your, on your website, on your YouTube, um, but also people here, people that are modding, uh, not only the voice chat, but also in the, in the text chat. And I really look forward to, like, more debates. Um, this is, this has always been fun. It's always entertaining. And uh, you definitely, uh, I don't know, you're going to get some laughs and, and you're not going to walk We're away. We're definitely going to have to clip some stuff, McTim. We're going to clip some things. So You, you do right not walk away empty-handed <laughs> uh, with these conversations. But uh, yeah, if anyone's... Um, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. If, if this, this is a lot of fun, and, and I do like how you, you moderate things. Uh, I mean, Demok was clearly not prepared to, to you know, have a adult conversation and you put a stop to it so thank you for that um uh there are other servers that uh would not be so so good at hosting a debate so thank you for that i appreciate it and that's that's all to the you know the those who uh you know give their time you know it's like 1 30 in the morning for me and for you know that some that's 2 30 and for those who are giving up their time of the day uh, or morning should i say thank you and uh yeah job well done guys good job all right I'll pop out uh, and tune i want to uh yeah i kind of stumbled a little bit here and there uh i was not prepared for the debate because i thought you would be just debating democ sure. and i would just Yo, be moderating so i didn't I, w I didn't come with nothing i just uh grabbed it what i knew a little bit about certain things but uh, 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 uh was uh, happy was to happy have you here. here that sounds good i'll send it to me if you ever find it actually, I actually have something, have right, something here right here that, that uh data, data. Uh, Actually, uh, sent to me all in uh, from NASA Science Share Science wavelengths of visible light. All electromagnetic radiation is light, so I'll send that to you. Sure, sure. All right. Grithog, can Don come to your channel? Yeah. How about Don? You want to um, set up? Be prepared um, uh, to set up maybe a next next week's uh, debate if he has it available. I don't know. Next week, I am already have booked. Oh, nice, nice. Gotti Storm is returning. <laughs> you thought this was a dumpster. Gotti Storm's returning? <laughs> he messaged me yesterday, yes. Did you get oh, that gee. message, Tone? Um, would you like oh, to read that? I'm, oh, hold on. I did you, where did you send it? Uh, through your Discord. Okay, hold, hold on. I was sharing my screen. I don't want to show the DMs. So hold on. I, I think the main difference that you get a difference between the visible spectrum of light and the near fields that are produced around it and things like gamma rays and radio waves is the method of production. Oh, so I think that's cool. one of the actual criteria. Would you like to uh, describe it? Finish. Yeah, yeah finish. It, it is. It is what you said. You read it. it all electromagnetic radiation is light, but we can only see a small portion of it. Um, that is generally you, that is generally not uh, not the not what is talked about. Now, when I studied electrical engineering, we definitely did not consider light to be everything. Well, would you concede that I was correct in my uh, statement or my claim? You got to learn about the no, ether. I would not. You got to learn about the ether, McTain. Oh, you wouldn't concede on live, huh? I no, I would not. I I would say that this save source it, is wrong. Save it, save it. Oh, you would say NASA is wrong. Yes. No. Mm. Save it, Don. Hush. I think that was good. You know, let's call it a wrap. It's done. All right. <laughs>
thanks guys uh we will uh appreciate it we'll see again again like i said other topics i i host i don't do the debates but if you if you're like i think that dinosaurs don't exist i've been trying to find somebody uh <laughs> i want you i want somebody that thinks dinosaurs don't exist so anyway uh, all the facebook groups of those guys. all the facebook <laughs> groups are fake every one of them is fake <laughs> on facebook so all right we'll see you later people um i'm gonna stick around on my channel though Ooh. all right i sent i sent an invite to, to um bob oh here he is he's he's coming in he's already connecting so <laughs> it's always a marathon with them because they they, they just can't have you know a one person but i was it was nice having you uh, need a Bob shower in. yet mike <laughs> i took a shower earlier so uh Uh, wow. What, and, uh, Demok, what, what a lovely gentleman he is. I spent most of my time muting him. I, I, I gave him ample warning. He needed to grow the fuck up. <laughs> Absolutely. What I, 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 um, I don't know if you watched, but before the, before it started over there, I had, um, uh, quitties reading Demok's DMs to me. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. He does not believe in punctuation. Um, neither does he believe in spelling. Um, I think he must turn off the autocorrect on his uh, whatever device he uses. Yeah. You have to work at it nowadays. Oh my gosh. You so know, sometimes when a word will come out out of context, but it'll be spelled correctly. <laughs> you know, you know, I don't know. I don't know what you think, but I I've looked at radio telescopes a bit lately, and they do kind of like to say radio light sometimes. Yeah, but that that's not light, and you know that as well as I do. And they know exactly what it is. And I even did their favorite scientific source, Merriam-Webster, and it says light's the thing that stimulates your eyes. Yep. And makes things visible. Um, I mean, I don't tell them this, but this was my book at university because I studied electrical engineering. Um, and these people who couldn't handle high school science are misunderstanding things. That's great. Yeah, it's just amazing crap, isn't it? Um, oh, Bob is on camera. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you get you on screen. Oh, wait a minute. Are we going live? Do you want to? We are live. Oh, crap. I got to watch. <laughs> I got to watch myself. Do you want to do you want to be on uh, on screen? Well, I'm here and you, you invited nope. me. And Nobody sees you yet. They only hear you. No, no, that's fine. OK. Hey, uh, check these out, man. Can you see those? Uh, drill press. Telescope mounts. Those are the telescope oh. mounts that we just built. Oh, very nice. So I've got two of them. One's for the big 10 inch mead and the other one's for the, you know, is a recycled table base that I uh, put together. They've got leveling mounts on them. They're pretty interesting things. My son and I got together and finished them off tonight. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Little father, son time. Yeah. And you're in uh you're in a the shop there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the garage. Uh, guys, you sent you a DM on Twitter. Message okay. has been delivered, guys. View. Apparently, I'm your I'm the message mule between you and guys. View. Oh, good. <laughs> I always wanted a message, boy. <laughs> well, I've got a few super chats to go through here that I couldn't get to during. Um, but uh, so all right, so we'll do that in a minute. But uh, uh, why the heck did you send it to me on Twitter? I'm never <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> Yes, I don't. I, maybe guys we not don't a, use Twitter. You're what? I'm a boomer. We don't use Twitter. We oh. use Facebook or email and letters written with fountain pens. <laughs> There's feathers on the mountain uh, the fountain pens, right? That's right. I bought only I, I bought my wife a, a fancy like fountain pen thing with without a feather, but uh, a couple ah. years ago <laughs> she she yeah it's pretty cool. Anyway, um. So what there, what was the best 
deflection. Oh, I, I loved it when Sin Cleanser's like, we have empirical. I'm like, oh, well then show me the empirical evidence. Nothing. I don't think they know what that even means. No. I look at the horizon. Oh, that's not empirical. <laughs> what was the best one for me? The one that the one that almost almost gave me a stroke was when Don suggested that somehow the sun was holding on to the radar beam. Yeah. I, I mean that was that was epic. <laughs> when you said that, I'm like, oh, he can't think that. And when you asked him, I thought he was gonna say, no, no, I didn't think. But then he said that. Yeah, he did. <laughs> That's exactly what oh, he was thinking. Oh my goodness. So the uh the um black body thing, I don't know where they got it. I know QE has said that as an attempt at uh her you know dis dismissing the evidence of the distance to the sun with that with radar bounce of course it it it's completely destroyed by by the the fact it's just a fact of science that the signal that they sent to the sun was the signal they received from the sun so obviously it bounced off of something and that thing was 980 seconds round trip away yep but did you take into account the one-way speed of light <laughs> and and Huey <laughs> tried in a video he tried to dismiss that measurement because of the one-way speed of light in uncertainty which nobody actually thinks is a thing but it's just something that they can't empirically establish and by convention we use the two-way speed of light you know, yes. one way speed yeah. of light, you can make some arguments for it, but how would it change things? Still takes still takes three seconds to get to the moon and back. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it takes one to get there and two to get back, it's still a three seconds total. So was was his attempt at the holding on to it like it is close and you sent it and then it held it for because if it's close, it's it'd be like less than one second to the sun. So let's say it's one second to the sun, which isn't flat earth close, but, and it took 980. So it, it took one second to get to the sun and then it held it for 978 seconds. And then it sent it back. I really, you know, look, man, this was your show tonight. <laughs> and when, when I was asked to moderate or do a two V two, I said, you know, MC doesn't need any help. You know, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to shut up. If he, if he wants to talk to me, he'll ask me. And the one thing I really wanted to ask him about that was I'm very curious. How does the sun store the radar beam? Does it have batteries? Is it in a capacitor somehow? Does somebody <laughs> kind of hang on to it like they're making a little tinfoil ball? and then toss it back to you. You know, how exactly does this work? I'm very curious. Can you go into some detail for me? I'd like to research this. Oh, but they have empirical evidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, so a uh, PhD Tony says that that a black body absorbs it and then re-emits it. Maybe huh? that's where he got it from. A black body <laughs> absorbs and re-emits, says PhD Tony. And and so maybe maybe he's like it absorbs and waits and re-emits. Now the the sextant thing, if we could talk about that briefly, the uh um they have this baseline thing that they always talk about. I'm gonna grab this this from uh Geist view. I'm gonna put it up. Um, <laughs> I love how their citations never get, never work for them. <laughs> they actually, I mean, they dug around and they actually found one that, that, that you'd use the sloppy term, but that's fine. It's not really that big of a deal. It's just an arbitrary selection to say, this Did is you what we call it. Did you see how does uh, citations? Oh, it's all cherry picking. Well, what he does is he does a uh, keyword search for gravity is not a force. And it gives him a paper and then he goes to the paper and he does a word search for gravity is not a force. Yeah. And then he reads the part of that sentence that says gravity is not a force. 
but he misses the sentence before it, the sentence after it. Yeah. And, you know, and those sentences completely contradict the point that he's making. I've, I've done a few of those. Those are always good for a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So I have uh, on screen right now the uh, Geist View posted this. It's the uh, from Northern Rebellion 2.0. Any evidence you can have a curved adjacent while acquiring an elevation angle? Of course, there's no problem with that. But their problem is the picture here shows the baseline from the viewer up to the sun or the star and then a right triangle to the to the surf the flat surface if that was the the case for flat earth we have the position of the observer the angle of the of the sun in this case above the flat plane um the distance to the gp or the point directly beneath the sun here and the 90 degrees so we have angle side angle which means we can solve that triangle which means we would then have the height of the sun they never yeah. like it when i take the height of the sun over flat earth they always say you can't do that because we don't know what it is but now they can do it all right <coughs> well let me see if i can help them out a little bit uh they say that they've got a curved adjacent that they say uh, we do this is a wrench it has a curve it has curves and points and straight lines on it. Does it change that angle? No. That angle doesn't care what it's next to. I can measure that angle right there. Not a problem. They can't get that through their heads. Uh, that's why I brought up uh, Euler, not Euler. What did I say Euler? Um, Euclid, book three, proposition 18. Uh, if you Google that, people, you'll see it talks about the angle of a straight line to a curve that you can definitely do. Yep. So, um, <clears throat> nobody has yet uh, taken my sextant challenge. Why is Why that? Not? I don't know. Because because oh, what did God. what did Oakley say? He said. Now, when you navigate around the flat plane, utilizing the geometry of the flat plane then you get around without any issue so they should be able to use it i mean that's a bold claim oakley he also said this the sextant only works on a flat plane says the guy that's never used a sextant or can do the math for it then he said this well the proof of the flat plane would be that you arrive at your destination right yeah that the fact that the it works part. when it's when it's utilizing a flat surface you use it you get where you're going <laughs> they, they don't use it he has no clue how to use it no oh poor guy i, I keep i gave him coordinates once and yeah, said, I, just tell me where i am that's all i want to know he did, didn't have the first clue <laughs> no they had one uh who was it adam meekins yeah meekin yeah he tried it and was 1,700 miles off. <laughs> How far was I off? About three and a half miles. Yeah. <laughs> and I just did it with Google Earth. But that's an indirect measurement. <laughs> <laughs> he, Apparently trigonometry doesn't work. Oh, well, DMOC, DMOC couldn't even get through his head that a tape measure isn't. A direct measurable device because you have to put the second mark on it using math yeah he couldn't it was beyond his comprehension that's how dumb flat earthers are people that's why dmock is the king of flat earthers yes he is he's the king you know i i told him the other day is you know i weigh 195 pounds if I want to know my weight in kilograms, do I need to go find another scale that measures me in kilograms? Or can I divide <laughs> 195 by 2.2? Um, I don't know if he could divide by 2.2. Um. <coughs> All right. Well, I should... Uh, it's uh, 148 for me, and it, it might be a different time zone for you. Well, so, my watch says it's almost two o'clock and my phone says it's almost three. Mm. I have no idea what's going on here because <laughs> I just reset this thing. 
Yeah. Well, I'm going to read some super chats here. Welcome to stick around and uh, enjoy some of the, the the comments here. Oh, let's go see if you get some good money. <laughs> All right. Stephen K or Stephen K. I think I already read this. Uh, FYI, some of us are blind. Maybe the flurf needs to slow their roll. Um, I'm colorblind. Many caring for 10 uh, shekels says, I would like to order a Mac tune with cheese. And oh, you missed it. My kid handed me a plate of cheese a little bit ago. They're all gone. Uh, Abellus for five Canadians says, Can a flurf please explain why water goes down the drain as a, the, in the opposite way in each hemisphere? Nope. That's not actually something that, uh, that I would ever look at. Because no, I wouldn't either because it has to do with how the porcelain is designed. That's the primary way. Yeah, it's it's actually um, you need to, to really make it happen and to overcome the other forces that are involved. You need to have a pretty good area uh, that you're doing it in and you need to have extremely still water. And then when you remove the plug, you have to not induce a, a, a swirl with that. Really difficult because because the um, the Coriolis force is is not very strong. So, but you can see it in a hurricane. Yep. Because it's big. Yeah. We've got Luke Filewalk for five euros says you can observe and measure an unborn child with ultrasound. Flat earthers are like, need a direct measurement with tape measure for that. <laughs> um Fat man for five dollars says, "Why wasn't he kicked as soon as he called him a?" And then lots of uh, lots of uh, s symbols, and then sucker. So yes, uh, they did give him an awful lot of leeway. That was me. You're the one that gave him leeway. Yeah, I didn't. Well, I didn't want to kick him immediately, although I really wanted to. Yeah, because he was just being a total ass. Yeah. You heard me. I warned him a couple of times about his language and, you know, I didn't want to, you know, one of the problems that I run into when I, I moderate is that I am incredibly fair with it and I'm incredibly lenient and non-biased with it, but he was really pushing it. Yeah. I, I'm it, glad it, Don finally kicked him. It Don went, was the flat earther mod. Yeah, Don was fair. I I think Don Don's, did. Don's yeah. a good guy. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> is Bob okay? Is Bob having a heart attack? No. Uh, <laughs> we had a bad ice storm here a little while ago. Oh. And I slipped and I fell on the ice and I broke three ribs last Thursday. Oh. So yes, breathing and coughing is quite painful. That's yeah, why I'm not making videos right now. I'm just too grumpy to do it. <laughs> hey, you moderated. With, yeah, I got three that. broken ribs up here, and it really, uh, Delauded was really good. I like Delauded. Is that a. That um, really made me feel very good when I was in the emergency room. Was that medication, huh? Painkiller? Yeah, that's like heavy duty pain meds. And I'll tell you, that made it bearable for a little while. But wow. That, that really helped out because I was miserable when I did it. I hit hard. I hit, wow. a, I, hit an, I hit an exposed tree root with my chest. Oh. And I cracked three ribs up here. So. There you go, people. Send cards. Send yeah. get well soon cards. <laughs> uh, Mr. Q2. That's why, that's why I'm taking a break from making videos oh, right yeah. now. Mr. QTube first name Fa says... Demox ad homs were a better argument than anything the second guy has put up. <laughs> no doubt Sin Cleanser is patting himself on the back. <laughs> he was excellent it's at denial. Chess. Yeah, so no name for $10 says the power of nah -uh compels Think Cleanser. <laughs> uh, at, <laughs> that's all he had. Al Marju. I don't know if that's right. It says for five dollars, so stones are matters and air is matter. Therefore, air and stones are the same. His light comparison, yes. I mean, all th they just kept coming. People that don't understand 
just the the arbitrary distinction that we just don't call it all light. Well, we should we should really make the argument that ten penny nails and nail polish are the same thing. A good point. They definitely are. L L Marge U says again for two dollars. Uh, full of BS. Pretends energy is aether. Yes. That. What was there? Was he not explaining his intention, or is that just the depth of his misunderstanding with his aether attempt? Thoughts on that? I, he, he doesn't have any idea what he's talking about. He heard, heard somebody say ether one day and say energy one day. Um, one of the questions I asked them on my test was, what is, the, what is the definition of work in physics? And they immediately said it was energy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's all just vague ideas. They don't. They don't know yet. They they think they're smarter than scientists. That's right. Smarter than people that that um, studied it. Yeah. I mean, I studied it. I I've I've been a software engineer. Um, so it's not recent that I studied it, but it comes back when you start looking at it. I've been doing all this five G stuff, so I'm a bit up to date on it now. Uh Stephen K or Stephen K says for four ninety nine. So SC. Sin cleanser ex expects the ether on failed experiment that wasn't even a direct measurement, but nothing else is. His double standard is showing. Oh yeah. Well, that is that they accept pseudoscience for their their position, and they go with science denialism against their position. Well, characteristic number three of the science denier is promotion of fake experts over real experts. And characteristic number four is poor scientific reasoning. Then again, characteristic five is also an unrealistic expectation of perfection in science. Yeah. And that's according to Lee McIntyre, who wrote the book on it. I have I have it right here behind yep. me. Yeah, that's right. You got it. When when I heard you uh in a video talking about it, I'm like, he's been reading McIntyre. Yeah. Uh, I also got, I got an older book of his too. I liked it so much. No name for $2 says hashtag Black Swan. Now, do, you, do you know who destroyed Black Swan more than anybody else? This guy. I'm claiming that you haven't even actually accounted for all the variables and you're touting your trigonometry that literally hand waves dismiss one of the most important variables when it comes to perception, which is refraction. That's right, Austin. Austin, when he debated me, I had I had eight of those ready to go and he he was like, Black Swan, I'm like, oh, you didn't take into account refraction. Here, here's you saying you have to. Uh, Julian Martinez for 499 says, I know you are, but what am I? Oh, good old Pee Wee Herman. And again, Julian Martinez for $10 says, Demock, question. What is the most simplistic way you can say what measurements are without speaking of science being that or uh, of math terms? Without speaking of science being that of math terms. Yeah. Oh. He doesn't even know what a measurement is just a tape measure to him that's that's the only way that you can measure anything you know mc you ever you ever think about a tape measure they're made out of metal yeah there's a certain amount of metal in that for a 50 foot tape measure right yeah all right how much would a tape measure that stretched from here to the sun weigh how many earth weights in metal would that take and how the hell would you get it there yep or or the flat earth sun well that's right they don't bother to measure anything they think they've proven the earth to be flat yet they've never produced a measurement of anything their only measurement is it looks flat to me yes yeah no name was was uh yeah the hashtag black swan i know was a was a yeah. was sarcasm it looks like a pencil to me which is hold on that is a that is a rat tail file rat tail yeah but it's a pencil because because it looks like a pencil it looks like a pencil 
Uh, Julian Martinez for 499 says, Horizon, being of what? We're, where's your proof without story show something of the meaning of math? Um, where's, where's the horizon? Horizon being of what? I think this was when he was talking about the uh, theodolite, maybe, because he wanted to use a theodolite. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I just love asking them for measurements of flatness. Yeah, and they're they're like, oh, uh, it's everywhere. Okay, and what was the measurement? None. Where, where, where was that measurement? Every measurement. Yeah, but where was that? Can you show me how they quantified that? And he wants a theodolite. Oh, he didn't, it didn't work well. Um, yeah, and he complained about stories and then told stories. Julie Martinez, again, thank you very much, says for four ninety nine, why are you deflecting, Sin? Oh, that's all he had. I mean, when he deflects, it's just waving that white flag. William Foley for $10 says, I have no evidence. I don't want to do math. It really scares me and I'm not good at it. I haven't made any measurements and I don't believe anything you present. Therefore, Earth is flat. Sarcasm. That's about it. That is that is it. Uh, it looks flat to me, therefore flat. Well, and whenever that, they say welcome to flat Earth, it means that they just gave up. Yes. You know, that's that's that that's kind of like saying I give up. It is, yeah, because it's not, it's not actually anything. But yeah, when they run out of things to say, that's their go-to. Austin says it all the time. Uh, Julian Martinez says called it for four ninety nine. Was oh that was that um, when he when he rejected the theodolite? If if that was the right, the right time. <laughs> he just went on and on. Oh, that that was this. That was compression. Is the image of the horizon that we're looking at, is that in real time or is it stored somewhere? <laughs> it was stored in the, in the sun place. for 978 seconds. That's right. <laughs> Chronic Avengers for $2 says, I don't like stories, then gives a story. That's all he had. He's like, I got, I got empirical measurements. Oh, well, let's hear them. It's a story. Fat Man for $5 says, literally said he's not going to look at anything he sent to him. Yep. He doesn't want the truth. If he did everything sent, he would eat up as quickly as he could if it if it wasn't This doesn't work, guys. This doesn't work. But if your wife is like, "Well, you always think you have to be right." Don't say this cuz it won't work, but um say you are correct. As soon as I discover that I'm that I have a wrong opinion, I'm going to change my opinion to the right one. You see, a flat earther doesn't want truth. If that was the case, then they would look to see if their opinion was wrong, or their position was wrong, and then change yeah. it. They don't want to do that. <clears throat> and when they got corrective information, they would reassess their opinion. That's what science does. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. amazing. More Lee McIntyre. Um, let's see, we got a mile, a mile long tape measure would be four forty thousand pounds. Yeah, it's heavy to reach the sun. How would you directly measure the, the most directly uh, way to measure the radius, uh, the, the curve of the earth? You would have to have a curveometer. A radius gauge, right? A a physical like uh, device that actually has a curve in it, and then you'd put it up against the surface of the Earth, and and it had you know one with a five thousand mile radius. You put it up up against the edge of the Earth, and it oh nope doesn't work. Let's try a three thousand mile radius. Nope, that doesn't work either. Let's try a four thousand mile radius. But oh, there it is. That's how we directly measure the radius of the Earth. Of course, that would have to be many miles big. It's hard to move around. You know I had to do it, right? 3.74 times 10 to the 12th pounds. To get to the moon? Or to the, to sun? To the sun? That's how much the tape measure would weigh. Might might be difficult to build. Mr. Yep. Shigura for 199 says he's an obvious pole. Come on, man. Is he? I don't... 
if he is, he's that's the thing. He's a great actor. He's consistent. He should be yeah. an actor, not a not a not well, out they here. call that method acting. Is he doing it because he's in theater and it's for practice? No, I think he's just a horrible person and he's dumb. Which one are we talking about now? All of them. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. I can't narrow it down. Here, let me make a list with my pencil. <laughs> uh, Earth is oh, life says check your email. O Oakley's just playing a role for money, and I don't have any problem with somebody getting paid to, for their craft. But there are better things that he could be doing with it. Yeah. Well, Earth is life. I got those. Uh I saw, oh, I saw that he Earth is Life posted them in the chat. Did, were they convinced Earth is Life? <laughs> I don't think so. They're not interested. Um, so, well, thank you. Thank you, Earth is Life. Um, I should put that in my... My horizon doesn't arise to eye level, maybe. We've got Julian Martinez again for $20. Says, Sin, please answer the question without the deflection. Listen to him while you look at me. Look at me while he speaks to, <laughs> to you. <laughs> of that <laughs> say my name it puts the lotion on its uh, no, I'm wrong wrong reference <laughs> um <laughs> sorry sorry to make you laugh <laughs> you need you need more of that whatever that was yeah no I really don't <laughs> Uh, Ryan, and that seems to do it. <laughs> Ryan Davis for five dollars says physics isn't real. It says so in the physics paper uh, from <laughs> every other flat earther. <laughs> yeah, it's a fallacy of stolen concept. He he sent a thing on on light that included the distance, or no, on on the black body claim about the sun. It included the distance to the Earth as one hundred and fifty million kilometers. You hear his response to that. Uh, what was I forgot his deflection? Well, I mean, it's the same one. I don't know if you were following the chat. They were talking about, well, Andrew, Andrew Thomas Young says this. Well, I've been in contact with Andrew Thomas Young, and he tells me that flat earths, flat earthers are idiots. <laughs> and, you know, the response that I got on that was, well, I guess we'll just have to treat him as a hostile witness. <laughs> They all seem to think they're in court somehow. <laughs> and I, oh, I liked your, was it yours? thing is a hostile witness in science. Yeah. This, <laughs> <laughs> Who, was it you or was it, um, uh, foolish something? Um, I forgot that that was, uh, talked about how just because it's been used in court doesn't mean it's anything, uh, necessarily. Yeah, that wasn't right. me, but it was his absolutely brilliant. Yes. Yeah. Courts courts do stupid things. Yeah. We don't take science to courts. Courts don't rule on scientific issues. <laughs> no, they don't. That's why Zen Garcia is so ridiculous when they bring him up. Not of course, Zen doesn't even say that what they say. He and he was there. Yeah. Zen does not say that that proved anything. It was thrown out on a technicality. It was thrown out because it wasn't a valid contest. Yeah. And that's all it was. He didn't have a contract. He didn't have didn't have $10,000 in Bitcoin and escrow. You know, he wasn't a man of integrity. Yeah. None of the flat earthers are. No. If if they were, I would have $350,000 to my name. That's right. And I see your evidence right in the background there. Still right there. there. I got to get on screen. There it is. Hanging up there. Well, in fact, Flat Out Hero was on my show in December and admitted on the show that he owes me that money. Yeah. And Wolfie. So the Flat Earthers can't say that. He And I instructed him to hold it in escrow. So far, he has not sent it to me as I instructed. Stuart Christmas, who is, you may know is brother to Lloyd Christmas, says, uh, Light are not the same as radio and they are simply anions of the semi-major cations and you can't have cations without energy of the electromagnetic according to snail's law <laughs> <laughs> he kept saying snail's law and don kept saying 
main sea level. I, I don't know where he's from. It has to be in his accent. Well, that has to do with the sea level in Maine. Don lives not far from me. We actually talked about getting together for coffee one day. Really? It was about 40 miles from me. I'm trying to get together with Joe Hill. Yeah. Uh, is that is that a Michigan thing to say snails love? No. Or a Maine? No, it's a Michigan thing to say you skies. Okay. Well, actually, that, he's wanting to go with. that theodolite, that theodolite measurement was taken by the Maine surveyor in Maine. Yep. So, but I wasn't going to point that out to him. He wouldn't get it. Stringer News was 1. Was it above sea level? What's that? Was it above Maine sea level? It, it was, I, I, it was definitely in feet. Maine. I, I don't. 72 feet above Maine sea level. I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Stringer News 1 for $10 says not all birds are chickens, but we can all agree that birds are electromechanical surveillance devices drawing their power from electrical poles and spying on us all as we go on oblivious. Research birds are not real. <laughs> I added that. Um, Cretan Ball for two Monop Canadian dollars says science by traffic court. That's new. Uh, of course... It didn't matter. The Rayleigh criterion applies to photons, not yeah. just light. Any electromagnetic radiation, you can apply yeah. a Rayleigh criterion to. Um, let's see. Oh, we've got Mudboy Crossaxle has a five pound uh, super chat, but no message. I don't know what happened there. Uh, oh, Can dear. we make our own message? Can yes, let's let's do that. What is what is the replacement message? Um, something mm -hmm. about let's see. Bob is incredibly handsome. That's very nice of you, Mud Boy Cross Axel. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I do try and take care of myself. You know, do a little, do a little, you know, skincare work and shape that mustache it takes a long time to get that mustache the right shape um, i'm glad to see you appreciate the effort though absolutely it is it is well uh, appreciated uh quitties who's been a member for 25 minutes says did you directly measure your tune shine titty caca <laughs> I would I want to go down to Titty Kaka and measure can do a laser test across it or something. <laughs> um all right. Got this 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 I'm looking up to make sure I missed did not miss anything. Uh oh we've got uh, Frig Frig It to Piddle 14 is a new member at Einstein level. Thank you for that. Um and that is the end of the super chats. Jesse, oh, OMG tune, you're still going, yes. And I just got to the end of it. Remember you're for 25 guy, months. My man. Oh my goodness. My, uh, <clears throat> it's, I love Tuesdays. It's fun. Um, I cannot find a dino denier that will debate. Any, Anyone find a dino desire denier? Well, aren't Bridge. chicken modern dinos? I, I yeah, and they taste good too. Uh, yes. We've got let's see, frigid PT four. Okay, frigid PT four says it's actually frigid PT four. There you go. Thank you. Oh, um, anyway, um, I'm gonna have to go, Bob. Yeah. You you don't have to you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. I am home. <laughs> Okay, chat. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Wait, they're all probably at home too. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you very much. Um, be looking out for Friday night, 10 p.m. Central Time. <coughs> A debate with Robert Greenlee and somebody from Facebook. And then next week, Scotty Storm. So there it is, everybody. I remember him. Oh, yeah. It's going to be crazy. Ha, ha, ha.
He's the smart version of DMOC, isn't he? There is a smart version. Oh. All right, should I should I mute us? They can still hear us. I think you should mute us. All right, bye everybody.